I want to welcome Patrice O'Neill into the studio. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Yes. One of the great Twitter accounts, Big Mama Prods. Very entertaining. Patrice loves his sports. You saw the Jets play by now, right? Of course. Now there's uh, more controversy in the what, paper. With the, with the guy tripping the guy? Yeah, but now I, yeah. I couldn't figure out why he wasn't fired on the spot. And uh, somebody who used to play for the Dolphins said, look, man, they were told to line up and make a wall. Oh, it's, it's going to come out. that. Oh, shit. The guy goes on his, I guess he did it on his radio show down there in Miami. He's like, <laughs> they were all told to make a wall. So and this is why what's his, those those guys push the guy out of bounds so he can be pushed and then hit this wall and, then, and yeah and then because, trip down the it, it's strategy because makes you know, sense. guys makes are running sense. out of bounds mm -hmm. to kind of get you know makes a lot of sense and uh, you know Rex Ryan I believe basically told these guys you got to make a wall for me because uh, he, he said the coaches are never lined up like that toe to toe never that looked weird didn't it, it, right. it, it, it they do it weird. all the time and they finally got caught because the guy you know put his knee out. And that's why he didn't get fired, because he was told to fucking at least do the wall thing. I bet you that knee fucked up, though. Like, that he was just oh, so yeah. nervous about not being... He couldn't help himself. It was strate strategic, but here's my problem with him. <laughs> I would have... If he said, hey, I had a brain fart, right? Yeah, yeah. I would have... I would have accepted it more if he actually hit that motherfucker. Oh, right. Like, like, and just bam, hit him yeah. out in the open and just go... I don't know what the fuck I did, <laughs> but that knee made him look like a sneak. Like a sneaky little <laughs> like fuck. You yeah, sneaky yeah. little yep. cocksucker. Yeah, like yeah. He was hoping to get away with it. So it's like, you know, I was very surprised he didn't get fired. That's such a fired move. It was so subtle. But that's why they're saying he didn't get fired. Yep. And if that guy had been hurt, his career or anything, for oh, yeah. a second he would have he would have been it would have mm -hmm. been Jet slash that guy's name. I still think yeah. the guys I still <laughs> yeah. think the guy's in deep trouble. I think maybe they wait till the year's over and then he kinda sorta goes away quietly. They give him some dough, Rex says something. Taking, I don't know. Taking, taking a hit for it. Good fellas move. They have yeah. a fucking some some cannolis and sausages for him when he get out. <laughs> you took your pinch like a man. You kept your mouth shut. Kept your mouth shut. <laughs> hey, you broke your cherry. <laughs> <laughs> they, they buy him his own gym somewhere in fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. Canarsie. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Canarsie. Johnny That's Douchebag's it. gym. <laughs> he took the fucking hit for him. The fucking Jets, though. What's your What's your team in football? Uh, uh, the Patriots, oh, I would I assume. Say, yeah. yeah gotta be well, sometimes I'm a Patriots sometimes fan. Sometimes it bro. gets all fucked up. I'm into the Patriots. Like Dennis Leary, he got mad at us because I assume Patriots. He goes, I told you it was the Packers. You don't listen to your guests. Got all mad at us. Yeah, but fucking. He's, he's a, he's a he big goes time to Boston the Patriots guy. Games, I think. I think oh, so, no, too. That's a. Uh, that's, uh, that's the other guy. That's uh, uh oh fuck, I forgot his name. That's yeah. the guy that's on the sh uh, uh, Clark. Oh, Lenny Clark. Lenny oh, Clark. Lenny. Lenny, yeah, Lenny's yeah, the Lenny. Patriots guy. That's oh, why yeah. I always ask now, because I assume it's got to be Patriots, and I, I I think I do know it's Patriots with you. Brady looking ridiculous. No it, one's stopping Brady. I right now. this is the first time ever that I watch Brady, and 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 consider him one of the best quarterbacks. I've always really? said Tom Brady bugs me. He's fucking <laughs> so s average, but. <laughs> That game against the Jets and this thing against the, uh, he, the Bears. He did a move on the Jets in the pocket that I've never like. Michael Vick does more shit to to. He's it's more like I escape, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but Tom Brady did yeah. something where he turned to the right and this guy missed. He all he did like he's a bullfighter was just turn to the right. His shoulder come back square up, throw a fucking pass. That he's. I've always thought Peyton Manning was better. I've always thought Peyton mm. Manning was a better player. Nah, I think he just. Hard he's to say just. That now. He's just. A, he. But now he's looking old. Hell yeah. He and he's look. He's looking a little bit like I don't know what's going on with this motherfucker. But yeah. Tom Brady looks good, and Drew Brees looks good. So I'm looking at New Orleans. He had a Pat, Pat, so and he had a better game in Chicago with that wind. With that shitty snow. How the fuck do you throw passes and that shit, dude? He is. Uh, I, I, but I've been a Patriots fan. I never stopped. I've always just loved them, even back with the, with the little man they had on the side and fucking Steve Grogan, Tony Easton, no, the, the 85 I'm Bears stuck. where they got launched into that disaster. I got to step in. This serial purse snatcher in Jersey grabbing women's fucking pocketbooks from inside an SUV is the funniest motherfucker. I thought the other thing was the funniest. Dude, we well, got a lot of funny videos it's today. All pop, everything pocketbook today is funny. Did you see the pocketbook lady? Oh, 
the first Dude, one. The first, coming and then we got coming in, in was the first time I ever even heard of this thing. This, this, you'll see the video by the time you go to bed tonight. You'll probably see it fifty times. I just it's saw everywhere. this this SUV and going this through a new the parking SUV going through parking lot. Yeah. of a mall. You know, people doing Christmas shopping. There's a lot of people walking around in, in the parking lots, and this guy go, comes up on them. From behind, <laughs> and out of his driver's side door, he grabs the fucking pocketbook and gasses it, and these women just fall on the ground. It's fucking brilliant. They try to hold on to their purse, but they're, they're fighting an SUV. It's black guy. I don't know. I hope it's a white guy. Is, is it? I don't know, man. That's, it's, not, it's not the regular purse snatch MO. The audio sucks. We're just going to watch it here. And look at these cars. It's a place where poor people are. Grabs a purse from the cart. Oh, she had the purse in the cart. And he oh, just takes off. so good, ah, man. That's a good one. Why do women carry purses? Eh, dummies. Why don't they have some fucking bitches? Why don't they have bitch wallets? They have a bitch they wallet. They just put them in their skirts. Why do, they, yeah. why do they have a suitcase everywhere they fucking go? <laughs> bitch wallet. <laughs> what is wrong with them? <laughs> ah, the new bitch wallet coming now to Macy's. With all their cards and they whatever. Got everything that's valuable in this. You don't have to look anywhere else. You just gotta grab their fucking uh, purse. But we got we're valuable. Why the fuck do Cause we're, guys have a bunch of shit? Because yeah. we'll put our wallets in our fucking underpants. We don't care. We they're don't not, care they're, how they're not putting fucking, their shit in their panties or anything. We don't care they how they ass look either. Should they should. What do they fucking need? They need in case of oh emergency and break 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 glass tampon a tampon. They need some makeup. They don't need fucking makeup. They need their you, makeup in there. You put your lotion on and your lipstick, and that lasts the rest of the nah, fucking day. they need that shit. They need their makeup in there. A some, brush? Some can go, get by with, like, a little bit of makeup. Some need fucking if, giant cases. If... if if you were a woman, would you be touching up your makeup all day long? Like, what does that <laughs> mean? Get the fuck out of here. Keep their, shit. Get keep the their phone in here. there. Go to, fucking go, go to the ladies' room to put on some more lipstick. I want to look pretty. Yeah, is, I trim my that. mustache and line my head up. <laughs> right. And I fucking put lotion on my face. That's the motherfucker. Look at this shit. Uh, I love this. Ah, come on, you fuck. It changed back to the news. Well, that's what they do. They got to tease it for a while. Oh, are they going to show it? Tonight, CBS 2's Christine Sloan has the story. Christine Sloan has the story. On the surveillance videotape, you see the driver of the blue Look Hyundai SUV pull up behind the woman in this Clifton parking lot, uh -huh. then drive next to her, grab her bag, throw her <laughs> <in> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, does she hit the pavement? Uh, Why doesn't anyone else laugh when they watch the news? Oh, oh. Why is it the fucking... the parking lot of this Target <laughs> over the brilliant. weekend. brilliant. Police say the same suspect is responsible for seven other purse snatchings since the beginning of the month. <laughs> In towns like Bloomfield, oh, did Rhode you see Island that lucky Park. lady boy? She yeah. was an inch. <laughs> oh my god, oh, she she just has no idea. She's walking, she's walking across on her phone. Oh, 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 like how her legs fine. fly up in the air. And he's, at wall, he's just doing it to poor people at Walmart. Yeah, go yeah. fucking the Fox Hills Mall or some shit, man. Go Douche somewhere bag. real nice, right? Where they got some fucking hills. cash in there. A little short hills action. Go to Short Hills and do that yeah. shit. Go to get wherever nice it is. Shit. Yeah, wherever it is. Fucking people with money. Just when you think you know all the scams, <laughs> a new one pops up. That's brilliant. It really is brilliant. Look at this meathead. What? How much money? <laughs> <laughs> how much money can that pork chop head bitch have? And the back plate is covered with plastic. It also has a dent on the front left fender. Yeah, and probably some from sort a shopper. Parking sticker on a side window. But and you you'll see it parked on the side of some place where he fucking unloaded it because he stole it. <laughs> Look, she's got her pocketbook. Uh, she's showing how women should uh, <laughs> carry their pocketbooks. <laughs> carry it so you get dragged under the tires, you fucking dummy. Broads. Jesus. Look at not laugh at women. Right? Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> fucking broads. There's also been an outbreak of purse snatchings in Nassau God. County. Police are searching for two men connected. Sweet little to looking town. Town. Yeah, she's been around forever. She's yeah, she's looking haggard, but she's still... No, not really. She's sexy. She's still all right, man. Yeah. That is fucked up <laughs> right here. Hey, ladies, here's how you carry your big, unnecessary purse. Right. Yeah. Your <laughs> big, dumb suitcase. Hey, that meatloaf head girl, right? <laughs> it's like you, you're you going to Walmart. <laughs> Why the fuck are you carrying a giant purse? And, 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 and children. And, and women are there. women are built to be robbed. <laughs> they got high heels on, so they can't move to yeah, begin they can't with. Get out of the way. Right. They have all their stuff on their shoulder. I mean, why? On their, on their frail little arm. <laughs> right. Why make it so I have easy? my phone. That's it. I have my jewelry all and my, my fucking wallet. All my shit is in my pockets, uh -huh. and that's it. 
It's like and right if, there. And, and we don't wear heels. <laughs> yeah. So and maybe, if I, maybe we can run away from some danger. And if my chapstick wears off, I just lick my lips. It's over. <laughs> if, if my chapstick runs out from the day, I don't have it in a chapstick pocket. <laughs> Rifling through my fucking giant purse. Oh, we have no they rifle through that for that chapstick. We have no concept of uh, freshening up during the day. No. How does a guy freshen up Band during the day? Ban deodorant, which is why it causes cancer. It <laughs> it cuts off all your sweat glands yeah. for the day. For the entire day. <laughs> and men's degree? I don't even use that because you <laughs> soap don't wash it off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at dumb rich with his fucking Stupid. bitch bag. It's dumb. He walks around with that fucking thing. I don't know why he does that. He rich could, is lonely. That's more lonely than anything. Is that he, more he lonely? Yeah. Because look at the way it is. It's it's it's, it's, it's sagging in the middle yeah, because it's, it's empty. It's, it's stupid. He's, he, he walks around looking for shit to put in that bag. You know just, it. Just to say it's a Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Uh, Kristen knows a little bit about why it's a Walmart. Uh, Kristen, Long Island, go. Hey, guys, uh, I just wanted to say rich people don't carry around cash. It's poor people that carry cash. Oh, oh so very smart. Like, yes, yes, ma'am. That's oh, a lot. That, lot is, that makes a lot of sense. You don't want a pocketbook sense. full of credit cards and shit. That makes a lot of sense because I don't have no fucking money. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people right. say they're rich. Right. Look at this woman. The guy's yeah, got a gun. The sneaking up lady. She, <laughs> she hits him with the purse. <laughs> is that the purse lady? <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck. We need purse lady. How do we switch channels? She's crazy, this woman. Yeah, we need uh, CNN so I can pop it up. I know. Look at it. We got 18 remotes. I know. Who the hell knows? Uh, maybe Purse we, lady. We can get it down the hall. Tell the yeah, guys we, to get it down the tell, hall. Tell them to get that interview Sam, down CNN, the hall. Sam, CNN, please. They're interviewing Purse lady. Uh, Patrice, look. Yeah, yeah. She hits the gunman with the purse. The, the gunman overpowers her in two seconds and looks at her like, what the fuck were you doing? What were you oh thinking? Oh, my God. Look at this big guy. Here, 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 here it is. Again. Oh, I'm good. I'm going to get him. Dun, 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 dun. And he's like, what the what are you fuck? Doing? I told you to leave. He told all the women to leave. And she oh. So she leaves, purse. and she comes back sneaking and wails him over the hand with her bag, and then lets out a scream when she fails, thinking she's just going to get her head blown off. And CNN's got the exclusive interview. We'll oh, have the fantastic. audio in a minute or two here. So. Oh, Jesus. Fantastic. That guy looks like Rocket's Red Glare. You know, you know, uh, you know, you know the guy, you know Rocket's Red Glare? No. He's just, the guy that killed... The name killed, is hysterical. He, it, it, he killed... Um, in talk radio, who's the guy that killed him oh, in the end? Oh, he's that you're big. Dead, you're dead fucker. You're dead fucker. Yeah, he, that fucking guy is huge. Yeah. yeah, we were like, we think he looks a little like Artie oh. Lang, and he also looks like uh, that Barso guy, uh, Basil Ma Marceau, right? Basil Marceau. Aww. He's a big guy. Okay, that went nowhere. I don't know who that is. And Humor. this is him here. He, he was that weird politician that made the TV commercial. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. He looks a little like Basil. That's fucking scary, man. No yeah, shit, it is. And then he pulls the gun out and just starts shooting. Yeah, you haven't he seen the video yet. Can I the please fucking... see this? He missed. He missed They're everybody. Showing it every, every two minutes. And then it's security Yeah, but shot at him. this point, to protect the innocent, yeah. it's just going to be, at this point, him having a donut with him at the end of this fucking thing. <laughs> They're not going to show what happened. No, that guy killed himself. Oh, he offed himself. He, shot he got shot in the, in the leg by a security guard, <laughs> and, and then he shot himself while he was laying on the floor. And this yeah, was all... Here, here's probably where he pulls the gun out, and, and the he's guy's like... The board. And the guy, the guy's like, puts his hands up, he's like, no, no, please, please, no, Look. please. Please no. Wow. And then pop, pop. Wow. He didn't hit that guy. And then boom, one discharge into the floor. And then security, bam, shoots him in the leg. And then a uh, big gun battle, and he shoots himself in the head, which right. they won't show, motherfucker. That is scary. Look how he just slowly oh, points the gun fuck, to the man. fucking guy. The oh, guy is horrified. That guy is not getting a job as a hostage negotiator. <laughs> and his wife's still un unemployed. He level yeah, he levels that fucking gun at him and misses. Mm. He missed. Put at the floor, fucking buck, buck move. That shit ain't right. Mm -hmm. And then the guy goes. You see how he painted. You see how he painted the V on yeah, the wall too. Yeah, see that. That's just. Yeah, he painted yeah. the V. Really, you for big fat dramatic <laughs> white trash. So it's <laughs> his dumb V. What? <laughs> Paint a peace sign. How yeah. about how about a picture of your wife with uh, a, a picture of her with the circle and the stripes through? <laughs> yeah. Unemployment. For like her job. <laughs> How about one of those Andre the Giant stickers, you fucking douchebag? <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. I but, think he shot low. 
I think he shot low. He hit like the papers in front of the. Oh, he though. this guy. Is that guy's lucky. scared. Yeah, he, he shot low. You know, is that why the papers went flying, or yeah. is that because his hand was on him? No, he, he shot low. Oh, okay, that guy sucked. Oh, these motherfuckers! And now they're ducking for cover, and well, you almost over. root for that guy in some weird oh, way, man. But like his sucked. wife, mm. the guy goes, "I'll get your wife a job." He should have said, "I'll hire her back right now." Right now. Get her on Where's the phone. Where's your wife at? I'll get her job. Get her on the phone. Now she has no insurance. Yeah. Because you can't get insurance if you off yourself or nope. or you killed the person. Uh, yeah. She has no job. She has no him. And so at least she's got no him. That guy doesn't look like such a treat to live with. Well, I mean, he was he <laughs> was she's... fighting for her honor, evidently. I guess. Yeah. Was, yeah maybe it was just for so. him. Because she called know. him a fucking useless fat piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I'll show you a useless. I'll go kill your bosses. <laughs> so she killed two birds with one stone, this cunt. Yeah, yeah. She's probably somewhere just relaxing. <laughs> Fuck, she, man. She was going to get. Why? Well, well, she probably has that shitty voice. Man. And she's probably going, why don't you go and do something about it? I have no comment at this moment for the press. And then she just goes out on a date. Now that is night. she? Is she? Have they interviewed her? Not yet. So. Now this is, whole thing is she alive? Breaking. Are they sure she's alive? Yeah, right. Well, that's a very good question. I wonder if they go back to her house and she's, she's taking fucking... a dirt nap, just <laughs> 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 dressed in her work clothes uh, like shit. she was going to work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the... <laughs> shit. <laughs> There's a lot. He might have fucking. He might have offed her before he bounced. Maybe. Sometimes they do that shit. And where did this happen? What Midwestern fucking? It was Florida. Florida. Yeah. 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 What part of Florida? Florida's a big place. It's probably in the panhandle. You gonna go panhandle? That's a whole different fucking part of Florida. Oh. So and then we got the, the yeah, the purse snatcher in the in the That didn't look lot. like a twenty two I ever seen. That was a scary looking twenty two. Yeah, twenty two. He it, it looked like when he leveled it out, he kinda relaxed a little, the barrel went down and he shot into the papers. And then at that point he put the gun down and it fucking discharges into the floor. And then he got clipped in the leg, it looked like, from the school security guy that had a gun on him. I thought 22s were like starters pistols or something. Yeah, 20, we were talking about it before, though. You get hit with a 22, they, they're low velocity, so they do a lot of damage. That looked like a block or something. That didn't look like a punk ass gun. Yeah. Inside, inside, guns are fucking loud. <laughs> and they're fucking loud. Someone's got a Doesn't question. what it is. How did the guy get the gun inside? Yeah, I guess there's not metal detectors ever. Probably not. Yeah, it's a school yeah, board. Yeah, school yeah, board. Yeah, give yeah. a shit. It's somewhere in Florida. A lot of schools have those <laughs> metal detectors now. Although not <laughs> in the white schools. And this guy No, was, not uh, in the white schools. Uh, and that's I'm where they should be. I'm not even trying to make a joke. Yeah. They, they should be. The metal detectors in black schools, uh, for knives or, or whatever, yeah, you yeah. might get sliced with a razor blade, fucking yep. those. But, it, but mostly in, in black schools, it'd be the girls. Because guys know that there's a gun involved, so it's got to be some real shit. The bitches are crazy. Women are fucking, women can put them buck fifties on each other's face. Yeah, and yeah. And then white schools is when the trench coat mafia comes around. Yeah, but it's so rare. It's like, bah, whatever. We'll, mm. we'll take the hit. It's rare? Yeah, well, it yeah, doesn't happen rare. very often. School shootings. Considering how many schools, how many white people schools love there to, are. It, the how thing that days? white people do, it, this is the thing. I know exactly who my enemy is if you're black. Yeah. White people could just be at work, yeah. and then some douchebag that just got fucking yelled me. at by his boss. Yeah, goes around parading around the office. Oh hi, boom. Oh hello. <laughs> you, you didn't get me coffee when I asked for yeah. it. Boom. You got my fucking bagel order wrong. Wow. That's the thing that's scary about when 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 white folks lose it like that. It's a it's an entire plan yeah. to off a lot of people. Yeah, and then yeah, take yeah. yourself out. Yeah, they usually do. Very that. rare yeah. black people do that. The, the guy in, in Connecticut did it. Um yeah. uh, Omar Thornton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, oh yeah. Black guys will shoot guys uh, and, then, and then just take the hit. Well, I'll jail. try to shoot you. This is black people. Yeah. I'll try to kill you, mm -hmm. but I end up killing Opie Bums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you That's fucking <laughs> That's spraying how, motherfucker. That's how every, every block party ends up. <laughs> Some poor motherfucker that was just there. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And, and he's always the one that's fucking d just graduated. Right. <laughs> I didn't want to kill you, man. I'm sorry about that. I was after this motherfucker. I killed everybody oh, but you. I meant to kill you, but I got your 12-year-old niece. Sorry yep, for that. Yeah. Sorry about Oops. that. Ooh, damn. Got your grandma. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Uh, that fucked up. Uh, that ain't right. Really hey, the top Twitter trends for the year. Gulf oil spill, one. World Cup, two. Vavuzla. <laughs> Vavuzla was five. Five. Justin Bieber, eight. And Paul the Octopus, ten. Paul 
Yeah, I like the Those were the big uh, trends of the year. Obviously. Justin Bieber. What shit is that? Damn. Yeah, not, I, I not a fan of the Justin that. Bieber. I don't. I'm, I don't know. I'm joking, I know his I, name. It, no, but I'm it, saying it, I know his name, but I just don't. That's amazing to I me. I don't understand man. to be that fucking famous. He's that famous by being just fucking a little bit. A little how pop does he star. Get, how does he get any kind of credibility in the rap world and shit? Because he's fucking making money. Like, was it Ludacris did some shit with him? Well, you know, these motherfuckers no, uh, aren't doing what they used to do anymore. They're not. I think the street is says. slowly. These <laughs> niggas going to start singing opera soon. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> there's a fucking, you know, there's a gray area between street cred and Justin Bieber. <laughs> you know? I think that money, man, a Justin Bieber single is going to be worth uh, Gwillions. But yeah. that's why motherfuckers want to do PG and not R. You know, yeah, yeah. I see why The Rock so doesn't want to do R. Faster made seven cents, but I, I fucking enjoyed that movie, man. I, he, I enjoyed watching Rock just run around and killing people. Yeah. That's what His latest say. movie you liked? I, yeah, I liked I Faster. It was, it was good. Oh, it was called Faster? I didn't even it's know. It's called Faster. But, is that the one he called to promote? Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Fucking. Somebody wasn't listening that day. Fucking Diddy. And I liked The Rock. But. Diddy was on The View yesterday. Oh yeah, wow. and 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 uh, Barbara Walters asks him. Um, so you have three different children, with three different uh, mothers. Why haven't you gotten married? It's like, why what bitch did you ask? Did you, what the fuck? You fucking kind of whore! Did you read your own book? Right, <laughs> stinking ass bitch! Don't judge me, you rotten motherfucking right. what double kind standard of, bitch. Of question is that first of all? Because your womb is dead. I fucking I like spraying sperm in the bitches, and I can afford it. If I can afford it, you know how many bitches would be pregnant? Unnecessary hoes here, ho. Unnecessary. Why are you guys obsessed with getting bitches pregnant? I don't, We're I don't, not obsessed I, with I, it. I don't Shut the that. fuck up. We're not I don't obsessed with that. it. Did he fucking? You guys are kind of obsessed with that Look, shit. Look, uh, what's his name? What's Wheezy? Uh, uh, <laughs> Ju uh, uh, what the fuck? Little Wayne. Uh -huh. Little Wayne. If crazy. a bitch, let me tell yeah. you something. Yeah. Little Wayne got. I think he got ten kids. I'm just saying. It's the yeah. same age. Yeah. <laughs> and but he got they don't cry about it like these girls they want a baby and they he's gonna take care of them he's like a good father but it's like he want to have a bunch of kids it's just materialistic father be honest here that he you think he's giving 10 well, kids the he has attention to go, he has to go on tour to pay for his exactly. for the diamond pampers <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so they got you baby teeth money. grills <laughs> <laughs> that got to be replaced when their adult teeth come in. But he got, but I don't think he got zillions of dollars, and oh, his yeah. his mentor got zillions of uh, the guy baby. They got a zillion dollars. Yeah, man. I mean, they they have houses and helicopters and a uh, Bugatti Crazy cars. Of money. Like like yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I learned all my. I go to uh, like WorldStarHipHop.com. I learned all my rich black shit yeah <laughs> from you know thousand dollar uh cologne <clears throat> i never heard of a bugatti it's a two million dollar car yeah they love it really? it's a two million dollar oh, car what do you that get goes from zero to 250 in three seconds what do you get for that <laughs> what do you what what do you get for that as far as the car goes what? what do you mean get for it? What bells and whistles for $2 million? Oh, uh, the thing goes really fast. So oh, it looks I see like, what you're saying. I don't, you look it up. I don't know. It looks like nothing else I don't on the road. Understand. It goes zero to 250 When you see these ugly. expensive cars, I don't get it. I get That's a $2 a million dollar car? Yeah. I get giant expensive cars. Yeah, I get yeah, those things. Uh, I saw a Maybach. Crazy. I don't get that either. Well, Wasn't that one 400000 yeah, But you don't even Three. drive that. You Three. have a chauffeur that drives you, and you sit in what amounts to a first-class airplane seat in the yeah. back. <laughs> I, I, I used to exactly think you could either lease them or or pay for them like as a loan. That's you have to pay for that shit no, out of pocket. Like, like that has to be your car. Where's cash, motherfucker? They know where build they're... those things for you. I could show you a Maybach right now. It's always there too. I don't even know if I want to give up the the spot because people will go and check it out. And car club car. I've been in no, those it's plenty just of times. A, it's in a garage. Great. It's in a it, a public fucking parking garage, oh, okay. and it's there all the time because it's it's rarely driven. There's so much dust on it, and it's a garage I use every once in a while. Guys got some cash, and it's right there, and they they let you go right up to it and take pictures <coughs> and shit. I think I, I, I got a couple pictures of it. I've got some cash. I've seen a couple, and of I looked in the windows. What I'm saying, I'm like, this is why three hundred thousand for this. I don't get Comfy. it. The seat is a little nicer in the back, of course. It has champagne glass holders so that your bubbly doesn't bounce around this while is, you're uh, driving. This yes. is Bugatti. No, 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 no that's, the, that's the, the Maybach. Maybach. What well, a Maybach is a luxury. It's like supposed to. It's made up 
to be a first class airplane on, on the, the ground. on the ground. You get in a the driver will first, drive you. you. Know, yeah. So if you're on a trip, you know, long distance trip somewhere, uh, you are in comfort. The you chairs, recline the that chairs seat recline. all the way down. Yeah, Three hundred thousand dollars. I'll keep going back to that. You well, can get a you know nice what? Escalade for a lot less if than you has have, nice yeah, seats, right? That's, that's if fucking you have relative money, man. A billion dollars. That ain't shit. It's, it really is relative, man. Yeah, it is relative. I guess the people buying that are just like I said. I, 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 black people get a lot of grief for what we buy when we have a lot of money. But I told you, look, white people buy life-size Superman replicas, man. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're looking for the fucking Honus Wagner rookie car. Like, y'all are dicks. <laughs> or or Darth Vader's real lifesaver that he used in the movie. Exactly. $700 million. Uh, I'll guess, take it. Guess what some white people pay for? The, yeah. the, uh, the original rules of Peach basketball from all right four million dollars. In case you thought, is that what that got? Four that's million seven Maybachs. That? <laughs> that's crazy. In case you're oh, lying, yeah. you could see this fucking car right. I could show you it right the fuck now. It's a nice car. The Maybach. I took a couple pictures of it. If I got th um, four I'll million to spend on a shitty mm. baseball card, I got three hundred thousand to buy me a fucking a airplane on the ground right. and then pay the other motherfucker. Now, how many years if you pay some driver fifty thousand plus? Plus fucking tips. Yeah, that Is that what you would have to pay a driver? Yeah, pr probably, probably. That would be upper end. Hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. So I can, I can, I can buy. So four million. Okay. So I buy the Maybach with tax. Mm -hmm. What four four hundred and twelve thousand ninety nine dollars. <laughs> so I got six hundred thousand dollars more. Say I, I really take care of a guy. I have a house. He lives in the wing. He's just. His whole job is to be ready to drive. To be ready well, you to pay a hundred thousand for this fucker. Yeah. So that pays for him just a million. Pays for the car and him, or her, if you want to do, for ten years. Yeah. Or six, six years. Six years. Then you got three million left. Like you, <laughs> you, you, you're good. <laughs> you're, you're good. good. You're fucking good. Exactly. So three. It's like money is relative. It's man. all relative. It's absolutely, absolutely. fucking lutely. Hey, uh, we got to go backwards. Because we got the interview of Ginger. Ginger's the purse lady. Ginger's the dummy that was swung the purse at this <laughs> at the fucking gunman. guy. At the board meeting. At the gunman. At the video that's everywhere. One yeah. swing, hit his hand. It didn't phase him. She starts screaming because she just... <laughs> she absolutely thought at that point he was going to drill her full of holes. Hey, hey, <laughs> and, 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 and what's funny, it says Ginger talks about being almost a hero. Do, do we you, have do we have other people that make that list? You can't the be almost, almost a, hero a hero list. Can you... You, you cannot... Uh, take for granted movies and how important they are. She was doing a movie thing. She did a movie he thing. He was doing a movie thing. It was a lot. The guy who was negotiating was, was doing, doing a movie, a movie thing. thing. Like, yeah. every, they were doing... That was a movie thing. It was a movie a thing. A whole movie thing. No one was being a real human. It was just... It, isn't it what weird? What is she doing? Creeping up with a purse like, like the gun's gonna hit the floor and the guys are gonna get up and pin him and she's gonna say a sassy line with the purse still in her hand? Oh. Well, that'll teach you. And she'll you, say some uh, sassy and lines. Then, and then she'll walk out. The media is already there yeah, trying to yeah. interview her. And yeah. The cops. Oh, oh, wow. That's it. <laughs> and, and, and then, like, <laughs> I always hated that movie. She'll talk about how what she carries so in her purse. Already. Right. <laughs> so Never how did you get him? That. I got him with this. She'll <laughs> right. hold the purse up. Yep. And the purse will start selling like hotcakes. Ginger, Ginger, over here, over here, over yes. here. Everyone trying to get her attention. Meanwhile, the reality, she swings, misses, and screams, screams like she's going to get shot. She made that ah! scream like, like that's the last scream someone makes before you hear pop, pop. So lucky. Pe but people say she'll be on Nancy Grace or whatever, uh, yeah, yeah. and they'll be giving her that, oh, my God, that was so harrowing and... And it's like, well, she's going to be interview. like, I'd be like, hey, dummy. Yeah. Well, we got our first stupid. interview. You were she's gone. Gonna, she's going to do a million of these today. Take but yourself out of the here, fucking mix. Here's Ginger. And Ginger, you you were almost a hero uh, and almost a victim at the same time. We've got this video. You were excused from the room. And here you are sneaking up behind him. And you take a big whack at his hand <laughs> with your purse. Didn't knock the gun out of your hand. And right at that moment, we, we hear you Ginger, cry you out. Did. And I can only imagine what was going through your mind at that moment. I'd love you to tell me about it was, oh, my God, it didn't work. I'm about to die. That's pretty much what was going through my mind. Um, I, Should have been around. I was um, concerned about my guys. They were lined up like ducks in a row. He was already um, basically standing on the same level with them. I knew something bad was going to happen. 
that was my only option was to um, see if I could at least no. hurt him no. or somehow or other detain until somebody got there to help us. Because my guys had three ring binders and pencils for protection, and that was all. Wow. You want a purse, you dumb fuck? Jesus. Oh, stop it. And by the way, if she had time to fucking uh, do that, she had time to do something better than her purse. What was around that corner, by the way? She could was there something heavy something. to bash him over the fucking noggin with? You go to hit his gun hand with your dumb per pocketbook? I love how the guy fucked up his circle. Yeah, he had to make it twice. <laughs> he was like, oh, He's fuck. not really a good tagger. He wasn't tagging the wall well. Well, uh, one more clip from Ginger. She talks about realizing she had no plan B. <laughs> uh, so, again, when, when, you, when you took a swing at him, with your handbag there and the gun didn't come out of his hand uh, obviously everything was a blur but what was the thought that raced through your mind at that moment my thought was that plan a had failed and i didn't have a plan b which was probably not one of the smartest things i ever did wow i mean he pointed the gun at you he said something angry to you but he didn't pull the trigger and you must you must have felt god intervened right at that moment I, I, I did. I don't know why he didn't pull the trigger. Um, my sense, and I probably disagree somewhat with Bill, is that he, he wanted to be killed rather than kill. It was but as dimension. time passed, obviously, it, it appeared that he was getting more and more ready to do some real damage. And we're so thankful. Mike Jones saved the day. He saved all of their lives because he came in just in the nick of time, or there would have been a lot more bloodshed. That was a miracle. Yeah. Divine intervention. There it is. Good old Ginger. No plan B. <laughs> <laughs> no plan fucking B. Not an idiot. It, she's on again. It's just it's, like. She's so, she, the way she tiptoes and creeps out is the dumbest fucking thing. We've uh, seen the video at least 50 times. You We've been here an hour. such a almost hero. She'd have been better off taking the fucking straps that, uh, from her pocketbook and wrapping them around guy, his a neck. Fucking, uh, an expert? Or what is oh, he? I'm sure he's an expert on handbags. He's the fucking. <laughs> The designer of the handbag. <laughs> Unless you have an anvil in there, don't swing it. How would a stupid soft tissues in there and old lady shit? Yeah, yeah. It's old lady shit I, in there. I, I he probably was mad because his hands suck. It smell just like some sucking candy. Hip ointment and shit. She's got lifesavers for her grandchildren in there. It's gonna hate, take them out. I hate how the news has to talk about this very seriously when there was a real funny comedy moment in there. Uh, now one was, person's laughing at that the was ladies. slapstick. It was slapstick shit. Her sneaking up with her purse. Well, the problem is that he got he he died. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. But, though. but that's what I'm saying. But they would never say fuck him. No, they like y'all said something while I was driving and listening is that like even in the corporate world they don't like they, those guys are not allowed to live like <laughs> like it's like here at uh, something something and something you can't even protect yourself yeah. you can get sued yeah yeah for yeah. fucking killing the guy that was gonna kill you like <laughs> you protect yourself <laughs> it's, it, people are just drones it's weird it really is it's it's like Stepford people it's just it's like it's it's, it's body snatchers yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, this big asshole is sitting there. With a V for it, he's spraying a V for Vendetta, and and it's so cliche, but it's like, who sits there and watches that <laughs> they shit? They watched him just do the spray paint. He actually had to do the circle twice because the, yeah. the spray paint didn't come out. And then he makes the V, and they're Wouldn't all that just be looking your first like, clue? and he's shaking the can with the little yeah, <laughs> with the little <laughs> ball, the ball bearings in there, and, and, he, <laughs> and he draws V for Vendetta, and then what's the next move? Goodbye, everyone. I just did yeah. graffiti to. See. Really? You're absolutely right. These people are not. People aren't very. You on fired the ball my wife. And cautious. Who is and, this idiot we fired? Shit. Like, th th there's no humanity. Yeah. It's like, dude, we fired. We fired Gladys. Oh, we're sorry. Oh my God, I, 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 I wanted Gladys to stay. I wish we knew it was. Uh, hey, you gotta be smart when you're talking to these guys. These guys. Yeah, they didn't want her. <laughs> shit, I got fired, and then I would <laughs> stood up and looked at them and go. You fired me too, motherfucker! <laughs> and then walked out. I was like, <laughs> you would have tried something. I've been a loyal employee of this school. I, you know what? If I was in the suit, I'd have just start pretending to mop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just a janitor, sir. Yeah, everyone, uh, everyone likes may to I go. <laughs> everyone likes to think they would do the right thing in a situation like that. But the fact is, it's every man for themselves. So you would go with Patrice's scenario. Well, Get your one guy, own ass out of the situation. The one guy tried to be a hero by saying, you know, I was the one that signed the papers. Well, that guy's just so a lunatic. everyone else. Why don't you let everyone else go? And uh, he was pulling some movie shit there. Oh, and the other guy should have went. 
Whew, thank you, thank you, Tim. And yeah, just walked yeah, yeah. off <laughs> and straightened their papers out. <laughs> and just walked <laughs> all walked out. <laughs> thank you, Tim. Thank you. He's right. We'll he never did forget sign you. The paper. And they have a bust of his fucking head in, in bronze sitting outside. <laughs> yeah. Whisper to him. I'll say some nice things at your wake for you. Yeah. This is the new Tim Memorial bathroom. <laughs> right. <laughs> you fucking idiot. He was an idiot. Uh, fucking risking God my life. Damn. That's why I love. Love Jesus so much, even if you don't believe in him as a as a deity, as a man. Yeah, he he died. He I w he could have got out of that pain by simply saying, "I do not believe in God." Yeah, yeah. But he has so much faith that he took that beating, and I wouldn't take a hard pinch for this human race, man. William Wallace also laying on that table took getting disemboweled, fucking... and all he had to do is kiss that little fucking emblem and say, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, the king's the king, I pledge my honor, and they would have just lopped his head off and no more pain. But he had to go free had home with his fucking... guts all over the place. And you know they were using that big hook thing and just ripping his <laughs> fucking intestines off. And I would have seen the two motherfuckers sitting there watching me going, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Them niggas right there was helping me. He killed the most. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's the Irish motherfucker. Look and that red-headed prick. <laughs> that big cocksucker. I used to roll with his father. So <laughs> Just turn so. into everybody. Tell Long Jeans I'm fucking Long Jeans. <laughs> Tell him I'm sorry, uh, motherfucker. Uh, fucking when fucking I, I, I tweeted that the other day because I was watching that I was like the second Longshanks throws that fag out the window oh well why don't you tell me about the defense and what we should wham throws his son's boyfriend out the fucking window the funniest part of that <laughs> is when he hits the ground the two guards down at the bottom, look up at the window, look down at the body, and just run away. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Longshanks is at it again. Let me tell you something, man. That's, th that's why, I mean, uh -huh. in the least, <laughs> people who die for belief should be... Uh to, and, and and die for the freedom of motherfuckers they don't know. Right, yeah, I'm that's just fucked running. Up. You'll never catch me just running through black areas with the music <laughs> in the background, the flute music. <laughs> just... Killing guys with horses and yeah. and, and fucking uh, 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 what do they call them things? The ball with the all oh, the mace, the the mace big and, fucking mace and a, and the battle hammer. <laughs> it, it's just and to this day, interesting enough, <laughs> English people are still horrified of Scotsmen because they yeah. they wow when, that's redheaded redheaded people because they you know ginger haired Scotsmen yeah they're horrified of them, scared to death of fucking Scottish people. There was some fucking when when Longshanks walks in and it's like. He gets the message that they've sacked York, and they send his fucking, what is it, his nephew or his mm -hmm. cousin's head in the box. And that's when the, the, the son is there and stuff. He's my military, my new military advisor. And then and the fruity guy looks like, hmm, I show yeah, him. Yeah, right in the ass. Uh, <laughs> who, who is this person speaking as if he should be advising me? He's like, what? <laughs> Who the, who the fuck is this idiot? Long jeans. Long jeans. I love long jeans. Long jeans. I love long jeans. I'm just going to call it long jeans. It's got to be long jeans long, from now on. Long jeans is one <laughs> of the greatest assholes in cinematic oh, history. He's the man. great. I mean, that guy was such a douche. Even though there's a douche, oh. that the guy that played a douche to the high. I think I put him up to the highest level of douchebag yeah. yeah. is the fucking guy from... Um, the guy from uh, uh, Bastards. Uh, 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 oh, oh, Inglourious Bastards. Yeah, yeah, the Nazi that in that one. That yeah, guy yeah. is the greatest great. asshole in the history of when, fucking movies. When they're cinema. on the battlefield and it's like, you know, should we send the archers? And he goes, arrows cost money. Send the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> and he just sends the Irish. But, son, that's how people do. Yeah, and, and, then they, and then, yeah, when they're battling it's in the moral. middle, he's like, yeah. <laughs> he goes, but we can't use the archers. We'll hit our own people. He goes, well... We'll hit theirs too. <laughs> what I do? He goes fire, <laughs> and he goes. I'm gonna send the daughter off, and he goes. She goes, but something could happen to her. I'm sure my son will be f yeah, really yeah, upset yeah. about that. <laughs> my <laughs> fucking sissy son. Everything he said was this sarcastic, smarmy shit, and it was wonderful. <laughs> it, it, it was great. It what, was but, such but, a but that's what I'm saying. This guy, he saw Braveheart forty times. Yeah. <laughs> this was it. Are yeah. you? I fired your wife. 
And he turned <laughs> a firing his wife into some noble into gesture. His, into his wife being put against the pole and having her throat slashed. <laughs> the fucking guy licking her face by the tent. And yeah, that's what he saw a firing. <laughs> I must regain her honor. Yeah. I oh, yeah. did it. Let yeah. them go. Like, Is that it? you, you, you piece of Bravo. shit. Today we will fight for freedom. And what? No, not really. Is it anybody you would you do that? It, it, would you? It, you know that that old question. Would you go the back in time? Mean I'm... and fucking kill Hitler or kill some one of these people that did some fuck. Uh -oh. Like, would you go back in time and do that? That example. <laughs> well, no, it's uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like would you go back in time and kill Shaka Zulu <laughs> if you could save any lives? Shaka Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Would you stop? I mean, I don't. I'm not sure. I to could, like I change could, history or some shit like that. I'm not sure. I could. I could take take a fat one for any any yeah, of these people out here. Pretty rough. They're oh, not no. worth it. Especially if there's a danger factor um, for for you. I, I I used to I used to come up with some really fucked up like scenarios in my head as far as uh, entertainment fantasies would go. I think we spoke about this uh, a while back, where I'd be at work at some inane job and just think about like dumb shit and everything would have to be really detailed out whether it was some kind of space travel or zombie attacks or whatever it was <laughs> whatever it was i was occupying my fucking time Got you through the day and that's all i had to do <laughs> well there was one idea i had where if time travel was possible and you could turn it turn it into an amusement type thing where you actually got to go back in time and spend the last minutes of the Titanic on the fucking Titanic, knowing that we'll snatch you back when you're done, but you actually get to experience what it was like to be on that ship sinking, and then whoop, you zap back and like, wow, that was fucking that cool. Would be that would be fucking and cool. And like, you could just go and do things and be in like, now could you and, come and back? Could you come back and report? Exactly what happened. That yeah, you could. Like the men were fucking just throwing fat bitches out yeah. of the way. <laughs> you could, not this romantic. I, I guess fat you bitch could. got on a fucking. I guess you could. <laughs> and I did <laughs> so right, man. I detailed all this shit out where they would have to make it really safe. So you'd have to send either robotics or advanced people to know that wherever you're being sent, Dude. you're not going to get hurt. So like the invasion of Normandy, you want to be on fucking Omaha Beach. There's an advanced team that makes sure you're in a place where no bomb went off, no bullet passed, and you are there watching fucking... As bolts are flying by. All that shit go by, and then they yank you out, and you're like, I now know what the fuck that was like. To really, not a movie, not anything you're experiencing. And I used to think, like, that would be the coolest fucking thing to how do. How about, uh... But not, but you could get... But then there are about, rules, like, you can't get Quince, How about Quint's shark story boat? Oh, the, oh, the USS Indianapolis? In the, the, Indianapolis. In the water? In the water? Just fucking floating around in and the water they carrying the bum. Oh, yeah, but yeah. see, see, it's the scenario... The Hiroshima e bum. The, the scenario's bum. easy if you know you're, you're going to be yanked back. That's though. just it. But then you know there's got to be like some kind of odds no, where one be. out of a hundred you're not yanked back. It's pure entertainment. Right, let's make, then you can hang out in the water with the sharks, knowing they're they're gonna yank you back. But let, let's make it better, Anthony. Let's say, okay. let's say. I hate rewrites. Right. Right. There's a slight flaw. Yeah. A remix. Slight flaw. Because you know what? There's a couple slight flaws. There's no risk. You can't share a riskless. But it's there's no risk on a roller coaster, really. It is a fucking risk. No fucking there. Turn on the news. Odds are. How about one of those shitty wheel sticks? Odds are you'll be okay. For the how amount about, of people that how go. about gravity says fuck it for a day? Right, let's say <laughs> there's an occasional accident. I like that. I like that. But scenario. but it's not like everybody has to experience an element of danger in this. I'm gonna make it perfection. Okay. You only can go places where you ha you see the fu you got you get sent to the place where you can help stop something. No, that fucks history up. You might disappear. Yeah, you if you can't, fuck you can't something fuck up, with history, and then somebody that. lives that would have died, and then that person man, that would have died kills your father. Man, that butterfly effect shit, man. If you stop murders, what's going to happen if you stop this guy from getting murdered? That oh, he's the guy who invented the. And then his grandson kills your his father. Grand oh, and then you just disappear. All right. But then you were never there to kill him right, and to enough. make him live in the you first place. You got this place. all planned out. I just like it. <laughs> you yeah, really got he had a lot of out. shitty jobs. He had a lot of time. <laughs> I just like it as You're an not amusement. Stump him. It's an amusement park where you get to see actual history happen 
and then you yank back, and why you have the actual just, just visceral the, the, feeling the and memory. No, the, that why don't you write a How movie? How does it stink? It'd be great. Write a movie. Ah, I got the radio. Movie. You know why you can't write a movie? I got a radio show. Why? It's, there's no risk. Okay, here's the risk, though. But that's what well, happens. One of your something, scenari- ha- something happens. Something happens with the happens. machine or whatever the fuck. Something like Total happens. Recall or something. Exactly. Okay. Not so much with the machine, but something happens where somebody it fucks up. Because they can't help themselves. Well, what's the, what's the, what's the on, fuck up? How do you fuck on, up? Anthony in said this? the scenario is you. Uh, I heard you earlier. You can't get involved with the you action. You cannot get involved. But see, for the movie version, a guy can't help himself. Yeah. And he's on uh, gets the beach. Gets involved with some. He's chick. on the beach of Normandy, and he. Uh, oh, Normandy you can't do he, nothing. You just right. have to stand it. Or, or you're supposed to stand in one spot and just absorb this up because well, one that's guy, your risk. You sign away your fucking right. If you step off of your spot at Omaha Beach and you catch a bullet. You're fucking, you know, that's your problem. But one guy gets involved, and that's where right, the movie right. becomes really now fucking good. Now the guy good. sees you something happening. He sees some poor cowering guy, a German's ready right. to fucking right. bayonet him, and he shoots him. And that guy and, was supposed to die because this and this now, and this happened because that guy died. Yeah. That which is why, which up. is why Time Cop yeah. was a great fucking film. I, I didn't you didn't like Time Cop? I liked Time I Cop. Didn't say time I Cop. guess somebody might not like it just like people might not like it just because it's, it's Van Damme, <laughs> but that's a fucking excellent movie. Yeah, man. Yeah, maybe Cop. we should rewrite it. <laughs> I like Time Cop. I didn't mind the Van Damme movies. There's some action. There was some that movies. was good. That yeah. was very Time yeah. Cop and Hard Target were great. Hard Target was good. But yep. your your fu- and, see that's in your. In, <laughs> Time it's bandits. gotta be it was something a else. of a tin knocker stapling together sheet metal, okay? I'm not fucking Spielberg. It got him to 5 o'clock every day. <laughs> it got me to punch out time. Right. right. All right. What about time bandits? Time bandits? <laughs> nah, a little too uh, yeah. weird. Yeah. A little too weird. Mm. Any kind of time travel shit I like. 12 Monkeys was great. I like 12 that Monkeys. That fucking movie was fantastic. That movie doesn't get Any kind of credit. time travel y fucking paradoxy shit. That was that one with fucking Bruce Willis. And he's in the future. There was a plague, and they send him back to try to get the pure form of the plague. So they send him back. Is that in what time. Twelve Monkeys was? Yeah. You know, I never seen Twelve Fucking Monkeys. That's you what Brad say that. too, right? Yeah, yeah. It seems a little. It, it bored me, like when it came on. No, nah, it's really good. I like Twelve Monkeys. I heard it's Twelve Monkeys good. is good. It just, yeah, I just yeah. couldn't get give another shot. To it. I like it. Good movie. We yeah. uh, let's take a break. We'll get into some other things. Yeah. We got a Santa Claus that got fired. What did he do? Touch a kid. Yeah, a little joke. <laughs> a little joke? A little joke. Of course. So, would no, he you pull it out? Yeah, he pretty much stuck his cock in Whipped something. Whipped it out? Stuck it? I know. Was he hurting my knees? <laughs> we'll find out next. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, other things. We'll figure it out. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> three. You got patience. <laughs> <laughs> you weighed it out. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we had to take a break. That was some fine uh, stuff shit. right there. That was fun. Hey, we got, uh, we got a Santa Claus being fired. We should get right into the Fire! Fine. Oh, look, the deliciousness. Oh, Hold on. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. What flavor the you go with? The smell of the cinnamon, God, sugar dude. cinnamon pop tart is. Let me see. No, what you'll it? smack it. No, what? No. No, like, okay. let me look at it. Where's the frosting? You don't need I, frosting. I like the frosting. It's like, Makes it too fucking sweet. Isn't it crazy? Oh. Why eat, po- why eat a pot? Why eat a pot? But it's warm. That's like eating a cracker, a giant cracker. No, it's warm. It's kind of like you don't like pop tarts. What's wrong oh. with you? With the frosting, that's why I don't eat them no more. Mm. How do you oh, eat a no. pop tart with no frosting? But good. There's goodness inside. Uh, oh, it's nothing worse than being unhealthy. <laughs> you got to tell yourself that frost frostless pop tarts are delicious. You fucking liar! Don't lie to people. Look. I probably would like a little Jesus, frosting on the Jesus, you're trying to keep from having butt. another fucking embolism. <laughs> so you fucking, you know, that's why I don't eat delicious shit. I have diabetes. Why don't you be honest with the people? But it's better than don't eating. Well, it's better than eating dry toast. It's not. Yes, it is. It looks it's dry. But there's some have shit some in there. milk. Yeah. At least have some fucking milk. I agree with Tri- Patrice on that. You oh. got to fucking moist it. No, get a little like moisture in you with that. stuck in your fucking There's throat. There's just enough moisture no, in yeah, between. He's right. You need a little milk. You should see. Even, I've even never seen a something. Pop-Tart with no like icing good. on it. You're I've never seen it. Toaster strudels. I, I go no icing, too. You're thinking of toaster strudels. You go no icing? Yeah, I do. Where do you find I'm trying no to... icing pop tarts? It's not easy. They don't have a lot of them. You know why? They don't have they a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, blueberry guy. It's you really fucking get yours from Whole Foods. They call it. They, they call it fucking uh, 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 organic pop tarts. Yeah, it would be like. It's not really pop tarts. Health, health tarts. <laughs> <laughs> They'd give it some name like I, that. 
with flaxseed oil. Yeah. Flaxseed. Flax, flax, flax tarts. I fucking, <laughs> fucking ass. I fucking hate, I hate eating healthy. I don't enjoy it. I, I, it's not I, enjoyable. I, not at all. I want a Krispy Kreme donut right now. <laughs> or they some crumb good. cake. Entenmann's crumb, crumb cake? Great. Would rule right Anything now. with an with Entenmann's cup of fucking <laughs> label on it. Fuck. <laughs> Anything with an Entenmann's label on it is I, fucking heaven. Intamins is the greatest cake company oh, I've hey, ever God. lived. Do you How bring, did they make a deal with the devil to just make the best cake do ever? You, do you bring junk food into your house, Patrice? Like, that's my thing. I, I keep it out well, of the house because I can't control myself. I have a bag of no-salt Uts chips mm. that, you know, with hummus and... Paul Newman's no salt salsa. <laughs> <laughs> no salt salsa. So you're having this no flavor fucking fest. Just a festival of nothingness. <laughs> sea salt, and I, I measure it, and you just put one oh, squirt. You just fuck. put one giant piece of sea salt. Sea salt. One, right one crystal. Where it is. What a nightmare, right? I'm reading sodium labels. I'm reading You gotta eat healthy, sugar. though. You really got to eat healthy. Well, yeah, because, you know, that fucking stupid diabetes. But I, it, it's like, you know, like people say, you know, <laughs> 40 is the new 30. No, it ain't. 40 <laughs> is exactly what it is. 40. Father time don't bullshit. <laughs> nah. Father time doesn't bullshit. <laughs> when you turn 40, your body, you can do whatever you, you fucking 40. want. It, you starts, fucking... it starts the toboggan ride down the hill. You've used up all that time dragging that toboggan up the hill with all your youth and strength and energy. Mm -hmm. And now get on for the ride and, down. <laughs> and life is half over, and the and the half that is left is the shitty half. Let's mm -hmm. be honest with each other. Somebody 40 said, to I, 80 is not a fucking picnic. <laughs> I just had a birthday, right? I'm like, yeah. well, people say happy birthday. I go, don't remind me. Mm. Like... Yeah, I turned 41. I'm like, you know what? I'm already 42 right now. Yeah, yeah. You understand how fast life is going? It goes faster once you get older. It's just I'm crazy. dying. You just die. You're At rotting. At 20, you're just like, yeah. You know what I was thinking the other day? How long would it take? Okay. Other, if I, if I, how many people would know you were dead? Like, how long would it take for someone to be concerned that you were dead? In days or weeks or whatever, with, with but without without news. So oh, so oh, and then okay. how many people? Because I know for I mean, if you died in your house by yourself, <laughs> so you'll gonna... be dead forever before I go. Like without news, I would never know you. Were you dead. wouldn't know. Someone would have to say something. my mother maybe after a while. And my girl. That's it. I'll yeah. be decomposed in my fucking house. You'll be one of those fucking... Oh, really? They I found a stink. month later. They would send it because my fucking Chinese neighbor would send somebody up from the smell. <laughs> <laughs> she would call the police because she's like, this fat nigga stinks. I love your obsession with <laughs> Asian people. I can't get enough of it. I almost want to beg you to tell your Asian story again. I won't do it to uh, you. Right. I won't do it to you. Fucking Patrice. It, it, would, it would just Someone be... Someone send some of them stuff. <laughs> it stink. It stink up there. But I'm just thinking, like, that's what I think about now. Mm. And then I enjoy, here's what I enjoy, not to be d disgusting, but it's just, I'm just sharing. Mm -hmm. I enjoy a, a good shit now. I've never <laughs> cared. <laughs> I, mean, I just enjoy a fulfilling, empty shit like that. Like, it, it got out. And it's shaped like a colon. You were full. <laughs> now you're not. <laughs> Ta tapered just, at both ends. I'm, I'm obsessed with taking a good shit now. Because I just. That's where you end up. I'm a fucking. Just a curmudgeon. No friends. No fucking. <laughs> I'm happy about shit. Uh, I'm going to stop wearing those. <laughs> I'm worried about falling and not getting up. <laughs> you gotta need a life call. I need a life call. Jesus. Oh. I don't know, man. <laughs> I suck. I, I I hate the commercials where there's a old man and old woman. They're fucking, you know, at least in their seventies, and 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 they're doing their canoeing or something, and they look at the camera and they're like. These are the best years of our lives. Yeah, and you yeah, just yeah, look like lying. you are so full of fucking shit, you diaper wearing, and it's for oh. a diaper. 
It's for fucking like bladder control shit. <sighs> These are the best years of my life, and I'm enjoying oh, shit. them. Right. It's like fuck you. You were at Woodstock, you idiot. Yeah. What are you how about when you about? were fucking splayed open in the back seat of a fucking a, a, a rumble seat, in a, <laughs> a car just getting plowed when by your some dick was fucking fully charged by Fonzie. <laughs> when you had the greatest dick of all time. Yeah. There's what you want. You and the pussy was good. There. Oh, and the pussy was tight, Can like you... a fucking, like a little neck clam. Now, you see these two old people? Yeah, we're, we're, looking, we're looking at two okay. old people sitting these... there getting dialysis or something. Now, let me ask you, mm. if they're together forever, like, meaning... <laughs> who hates more? Who hates who more, if, I mean? If if you're oh, together God. forever, yeah. mm -hmm. since you were young and good-looking... Mm -hmm. Does her face and his face look exactly like it does oh, to right, us? Right, right, right. Like how they just look like two old Because farts? if you look at someone every day, you don't notice they're changing. Is she as ugly <laughs> to him? Or is that the same <laughs> she, beautiful shitbag? Or does she, she look like the same woman that was waiting for him when he got off the boat from Europe? Is she fucking it, it, when he dipped her in Times Square and gave her a kiss? Oh. <laughs> With her rubber <laughs> face and her fucking giant newborn fucking horse knuckles. <laughs> they look like newborn horse knees. Her big arthritic fucking knuckles. Looks like thoroughbred <laughs> fucking joints. How come father time? How come father time couldn't just do this? You're going to be healthy, 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 beautiful, then die. Dead. <laughs> like, it is pretty twisted. You just go, you're going to die. In 80 years, you're going to yeah. expire like a battery. Done. Like Logan's As opposed run. to regress. What, what year do you think your uh, body starts dying? It's 40. the second you come out of the fucking no, I don't world. know about that. Wait, yes, you start, I, I you're got, decomposing. No, because uh, having a son, I don't believe that anymore. Because if, if he gets a cut or something, it heals within hours. It's creepy. Yeah, but do you, do you, so when does your body like make that, that turn? No, I, I, would say, I would say instantly. Instantly, through cell regeneration, you're so, using up your resources. No, no, no. He, I see what you're what, growing. I, I know what you're he's trying to healthy. say. No, I think you actually. He's saying there's a there's a you're being you're being literal. Literal. Okay. He's saying when do you start to regress? Do you start to forty? I would say forty five. I think there's. I would say forty. I think do you see? Do you see? No, see far? Hold on, hold on. I think <laughs> I think there's a when you're you're born, you're you're developing and 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 yeah. and, and, and you know what I mean, and maturing. Meaning, and then it's like there's the, got to be an age where the human being is perfect. It's, it's there's a click up. It's, it's a roller coaster. It's perfectly made. Everything is is great. The skin yep. looks good. Your bone structure. Your fucking muscles. And then when twenty two years you think? old. Twenty two is a great age. I wonder if there's a real answer to the this. The click up. The 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 flying down is forty. <laughs> Thirty is the click, click, is that it's the, the click click the, click the click peak at the top. And you stand in you 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 survey the greatness of thirty. And then forty is it's not <laughs> it's, it's fucking pee. The you gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> four times a fucking night. Because the obvious shit is like your skin starts sagging a little bit, you, the gray hair starts coming in. That's what I'm talking about. That's all. Uh, see this? Gotcha. A little bit. It's fucking. It's forty. Yeah, you got a little bit uh, up front, right? Yeah. When did you just have to start going to get? What, what, My how touch old you for television? How how old were you when when things was happening bad up there? Oh God. Well, the good thing was I had a nice slow fucking thinning of my hair. It was over the and course of many years. Mane, right? I had crazy afro fucking hair. Dude, he, but then I started noticing, like, all right, it's getting a little thin. He went out without a hat the other night. He's got a full head of hair now. I see him. I see him on uh, on Joey Behar. It's, yeah, it's, it's looking good, guy. but it's kind of creepy. With, without the help of money and, without and science, without twelve thousand dollars. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What? Where? Wh oh, I would be fucking. Well receded on the side. I'd probably have a Phil Collins up front, and I'd have a George Costanza I'll, I'll in the back. How old are you, Danny? I'll, I'll be thirty in a few weeks. You'll be thirty. Yeah. So you started going. Early. It's you know what? It's been it's it's just been a slow decline. <laughs> slow <laughs> decline. Yeah, like, yeah I, you know you notice you notice <laughs> you notice things are are changing. Like you know, for me, I, would, I don't know, ten years ago, like I noticed like oh, there's a little something going on, and it just what it's is just that? now how about very your body? Slow. Uh, do you feel as good as you do when you was when you was twenty? No, but that's my own fault because I don't do anything. <laughs> I I feel like things changed for me when I turned thirty. 30 was a, yeah. 30 was changing? I just felt like I couldn't, like, do uh, a lot of the shit I used to do. That was the prime of my life. Health-wise, 30, from 30 I think to it was psychological, though. 45 was so, awful for me.
I, it was just a complete decline. From 35 to 45, I would say awful because I did not take care of it. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? That's a shadow part of the hair, mind you, to that the right. That picture makes me sick. Isn't it terrible? <laughs> look at me. I'm an emaciated. I fucking hate you in this picture. Trash. Why are fucking... you emaciated? Drugs? You know what? You look like your attitude now. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't look. I think oh, you are perfect. if you look like that and you were you, yeah. I would never come in here. You are perfect. That is exactly it. <laughs> I you're act a like I piece look of like that. Gunk. Just a piece of shit. I fucking hate your guts. I know. Yeah. I don't I don't fucking fault you in the least, Patrice. You know what I got on right there, Opie? A uh, WBAB graffiti sweatshirt. Oh, wow. Look at the picture of Bob Buckman drawn on the bottom. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look, I Ralph, fucking, Ralph Tatora. I fucking hate you in yeah. this picture. Yeah, that right, was... Right uh... now, you look like a man who... Like, your ideas seem to be <laughs> well-formed, and I can respect them. I try. This... This piece of shit. <laughs> you, piece you're of not shit. allowed to have an opinion. You fucking piece of garbage. <laughs> that shit. Did he look like that when you worked together, Obi? I was at the yeah, tail end. That the was the part. tail end of looking like I that. I met Anthony at a massive afro. Tail end fucking of looking massive. like that when we, when we got the job in Wild Boston. Wild motherfucking hair. Yeah. Then he that put it. in a ponytail Were you a well-read guy and... then? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was, really? Yeah, that's what's I, so weird about I, it. I craved knowledge. And, <laughs> I would just go la, 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 at this person <laughs> that had any knowledge. I would go, I go, go fuck yourself. I swear, I used to cut lines on encyclopedias. <laughs> that's, that was the duality of me. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. I fucking hate that picture. Oh, that is every white trash Long Island motherfucker right there. I, I was a dime a dozen walking around God, on Long Island. I, a lot of I guys can't like that. believe that picture. Yeah, right. isn't that sick? That's right. Yeah, I weighed a hundred and thirty pounds. Just a sickly man. Little thin, long fucking, arms, long gangly arms, big fucking afro head. How old were you there? Bad. My first. My, it was like fucking play schools. My first mustache. That twenties. How old were you? Like yeah, I was. I was about twenty two, twenty three okay. there. And that you was twenty two in that picture. Yeah, probably. You were dying early. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. You was in. You was. You was in decline, man. You I wasn't taking very good care of myself. Fuck me, you were haggard. Yeah. Let me see this. That was. Uh, oh boy. I that can't believe that ago. picture. You were yeah. 22 twenty two. Twenty two at the most. Twenty three, but yeah. Just wanting to be in a fucking a session 20s. band. I'm gonna fucking be. I was gonna what be. What was the your rock dreams? Star. What was your dreams in there? Rock star. dreams. I was fucking rock star. Rock star. Mode. I was lead singer, of rock gut motherfucker. I was gonna take over the world. What do you think that guy is doing now? I mean, who is that guy? That is the... a wax image of fucking you dumb fucks. That's a wa a bad wax Bob Hope. <laughs> no. Yes. Get the fuck out of yes, here. it is. That's oh, in some shit. kind of a wax museum. It doesn't look like Bob Hope. Of course, it's a shitty wax museum. But I see where his wax is. It's like now. on the road to fucking Zanzibar or some shit. Wow. Look at you, man. Yeah. You make me sick. That's terrible. I, you know, I would... <laughs> terrible. Fucking five, five packs of Marlboro Reds a day. Just... Bleh. So you're way better than that. Yeah. Now, now, what would you... If you could go back to that guy... Ugh. What would you tell him? One thing you would just tell After him. After I pinned him down and shaved his fucking head, I would tell him, uh, knock it off. You're not cool. You look like an idiot. No, to Straighten help up you. And fly to right. help you from letting that person be, become the one you are now. You mean idealistically? You just go back and oh, you fucking help. Now. But no, no, no. Cause that person well, I tell myself, that person fucking shaped what you are. Right. Even though you like what you are. But would there would be no advice you could I give? I would him? give advice. I would say, quit smoking, and watch your cholesterol. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> it would be health. That's pretty much what I would say when, right there. Because I'm gonna tell you, if you watch your cholesterol, <laughs> yeah, let me you're tell gonna you be something. getting, you're gonna be fucking so many young bitches. You're gonna love that shit. <laughs> and uh, exercise. Don't wait till you're fucking 45 to start exercising, motherfucker. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, listen, we got the we got the Santa that got uh, fired. Oh, yeah, some That's, people are that... really. And no matter what you do, never marry a bitch named Jennifer. <laughs> oh, yeah, you forgot that part. <laughs> I don't care what you're thinking Run! when you're fucking. Run! I don't Run! care how it feels. Run! I don't care what anyone says. Don't ever marry her. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you forgot the obvious. Yeah. And then I'd give I'd give him a picture of my house right now and go, now 
Listen to my advice and hear. Just take that witch. It's going to be like uh, old Biff telling young Biff yes. in the car. Yeah. yeah, now, yes. Listen to me, butthead. Butthead. <laughs> take this book. He's <laughs> <laughs> driving my Mustang. Get out of my Mustang, you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stop my car. <laughs> <laughs> That's Back to the Future. Yeah, oh, Jesus, fucking Biff. young Biff and old Biff. I guess you haven't That's listened to the be. show. In a while. Uh, Take it out of your sight. Yeah. Always, <laughs> always keep this on you here like this. <laughs> oh, that was the gambling book. Yeah, with the fucking. Oh, I've seen it, but I can't quote cool from that fucking movie. The Damn. sports almanac he gives him and fucking <laughs> luckiest man in the world at the track with his picture. Damn. Young oh, Ant man. takes one of the poker chips back with him. He sees it like change as you something happened in the future. See me with a giant check at the fucking <laughs> Borgata. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, man. Hey, shit, yeah. Oh, uh, shit. We we really are fucking preoccupied though with like the whole time thing. Yeah, because I'm. Just we, like, we're constantly. I mean, just as, as human beings, we really are. Some more than others, but I even think the ones that come across like they're not are. When I hear 62-year-old people died, I go, oh, man. You stuck doing At some 20, math? you go, Do you start what doing difference some math? does it make? Yeah, yeah. You're ready to die anyway, you old piece of shit. Now I'm like, oh, no. I, I used to think how long it would take. Like, And I'm talking when I was, probably when I was like 10 years old, I, I would think how long it was going to be till I was 40. And it's like... Oh my God! And I would sit there going like, All right, I have to go through like 1970, one, two, three, four, five, six. and these are all years. God, I know how long a year is, and I'm counting it off like that. And it's like, God, that'll be forever. And then all of a sudden, you're there. This is the this is the most fucked up thing about age. You don't change. Yeah. You just get older. Like you so, think at, you at do. 20, yeah. right? You're just young and and delicious. <laughs> but at 40 <laughs> at 40 you not this you're not there's guys in high school I still hate with mm -hmm. the same passion like you would think you get mature and blah blah yeah, blah Yeah you think something but changes you fucking you are the same person you was yes. at 20 except for now you're fucking 40 <laughs> <laughs> Yes you got the same likes and dislikes and a few little incidental things change like oh i like brussels sprouts now but but <laughs> other, other than that you're the same your, motherfucker. Your laugh doesn't change. No. Like, you don't start laughing like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 why don't nobody just say how responsible I am? <laughs> Look at you with a full gas tank. You've made it, Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> Fucking, when am I going to feel like a man? I just paid my bills this month. You never Someone will. Someone fucking say, yeah. cool. Say, wow, look at you. You never will. <laughs> <laughs> our own Greg Opie Hughes had to have Steve Bladder, our boss, tell him to pull his pants up the other day because his sweats were falling down You're obsessed with under that. his ass. You're obsessed it, with it that. was probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen in these halls. Is is Steve Bladder going to Opie? As Opie's like walking around telling you, goes and, and and he's talking to him, and then Steve just looks down and goes. And he was serious. He goes, pull up your pants. I'm still fucking. Like, like, cause Opie has the sweatpants on with the elastic is just chastised. gone. Yeah. There's nothing worse. I, I, uh. I'm still livid about it, by the way. <laughs> the elastic's been gone since fucking 1996. I tried to dress comfortable. What did you do? They were falling down. I don't know why. No, what did you do? When he, he pulled said, his pants up. I pulled my pants up and then said, "How dare you? How dare you?" <laughs> I'm still pissed off. I bet. And, and he you know took what? You by surprise. I, is what I will, And trust me, how my brain works, I will right. get him back. He took you get by him surprise. I will get him back. Right. He was. He was you're right. Not, my, what vengeance are you going to get? Dude, you're my, not a thug. You're not a kid. Yeah, my under, <laughs> my underpants were showing. I'm like, what am I doing? His underpants are hanging out, and the top of his uh, sweats looked like they'd been burnt in the dryer. They were cracking, <laughs> like they were crackled, and the elastic's gone, and it was hanging down his ass. <laughs> 
And Steve just goes, fucking like, blast. What would you pants? fucking do if they gave you guys a goddamn dress code? Ooh. I'm out. Yeah, that would be rough. It's that, uh, no. Suit and tie How How coming to do, do your fucking How could they do that? Pretty much one more thing they, they force us to do, I'm out Ooh. anyway. So Pull your <laughs> fucking so pants up. The pulling up your pants. <laughs> one more thing, I'm out anyway. So fucking make it a good one. Uh, I've had shit. it. I have had I it. I wish I'd seen that. I might have been on the floor laughing. <laughs> you know, it would be great uniforms. If they don't have a dress code, they have. You know what? They actually have uniforms where we have to wear like I'll, fucking like the Dharma Initiative jumpsuits. I'll give you another uh, part of that equation. I will guarantee that Bladder is younger than me, and, oh, he's, yeah, tell yeah. and he's telling me to pull oh, my he's pants up. Absolutely younger than you. Uh, the audacity! <laughs> it just bugs you, doesn't yes, it? it does. <clears throat> All of our bosses, I think, are and younger than. And he was dead <laughs> serious. Oh yeah, he was. And then you would have looked like an asshole if you said no. No. Because you should have pulled your fucking pulling pants, my pants up. up. You know why? There's probably some kind of uh, thing where if your fucking underwear is showing in the hallway, something that could happen. be a problem. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. He was, you know, concerned about your dress code. Yeah, who knows? But whatever it was, he told you to pull your pants up. Oh, I'm, still, no. I'm still, I'm still fixated on that. My like, my butt cheek was sort of showing because like, like the string that was fantastic. Was around my hip, but the material was gone on the right side. It was yeah. It's, it looked like so when you when he said <laughs> when he I said know. when he said I feel the same way, Patricia. When he said pull your pants up, did you go okay? I was. Did you go? I think it took him by did, surprise. What did you say? What did you there just was, pulled him up and and the, and the conversation he ensued? He reverted back to being a kid being told to pull his pants That's up gonna, and just did it without thinking. And about he it. stayed it's, there it's, and watched you fucking pull. Like it, what it's, happened? It's gonna be tough for me to say this, but I I knew I was. Yeah, but doing the Fonzie thing, <laughs> I knew I was wrong. Yeah, and so I, I felt partially. Did you say thanks? No, I didn't say thank. What? But, but I, I was partially oh, humiliated. I was partially humiliating <laughs> and really pissed off inside. Wait, I want to know that, what that you fucking. Wait a minute. Okay, oh, I was God humiliated. Anthony, tell me to pull my pants. I'm just trying to see what uh, would happen. Just Patrice, pull your pants up. Oh I'm, shit! I, I, like, I don't, <laughs> say it again. I don't, like, I, wait a minute. Like. <laughs> So, uh, you know, Wait, let's we got, talk for a second. Yeah, we got that thing Friday. Yeah, because we were talking at, about the Paul uh, McCartney show, Fox weren't we? Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Oh. That's going to be a lot of fun, poker and shit with a lot mm -hmm. of the uh, listeners. And pull your pants up. And that's how he said it, too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say I, anything? I think I would have been like, why are my pants bothering you? <laughs> did I say anything? I don't even know. I don't think you did. I was, I I was, I I was started humiliated. laughing hysterical. You silently fixed your pants in front of this guy? <laughs> Another man who's younger than me. A, a younger guy. You just, a you younger just guy had to tell me to pull my pants silently off. Silently fixed your fucking, fucking shitty pants? Pull his pants off. And continue with the conversation? Or did the guy walk away? I think they started, they kept talking but i was laughing so but hard how did you I know my track. pants were down why was they my were shirt so up? fucking your shirt that's just it didn't even have to be up your pants they were, were so down. falling down and like you said i was the, tired the rip I, I was tired. the rip on the side a whole ass cheek <laughs> obi looked like he had been dragged by you know a vehicle <laughs> in those pants he called obi happened. a disgrace <laughs> yes, yes he did. you're a goddamn <laughs> disgrace <laughs> yeah, he did. pull up those pants but straighten I, that half for the first time what in a long time. What the fuck do you say? For the first time in a long time, I had nothing to say. Usually I'll always have something to say. And I had for to sit God's there and go, sake, fuck. get that XM pin off your lapel. <laughs> I don't know how I would fix my pants seriously. <laughs> right, seriously. In front of the but just fix your pants. <laughs> Pull your pants up. Well, he couldn't. And I seriously <laughs> fixed my pants. He couldn't believe he was saying it. But you got to answer was the equation. in disbelief. I'm like, well, he's telling me to pull my pants up. Did he give like a, a half loud Jesus Christ? Yeah, yeah, it was the, definitely. It was the tone of voice. It was the tone of voice was, was disgust. It was it was uh, pull your pant pull your pants up, pull your pants up. You were there? Oh yeah, I started rolling. I was laughing my balls what off. What did he say? <laughs> I, there was nothing. He pulled his you pants just watched up. him fix his pants. Yes. And con that's what fucking me up. <laughs> no, it fucked me up. That's why I'm still talking about it. So, <laughs> Anthony, man, so so this thing on Friday, we're going to yeah. do this thing on Friday. Okay, yeah. so you, you're definitely going to be here. What time oh, are you going to be yeah. there, man? Uh, leaving after the show, probably about Pits, one. Fix your pants. Put your pants up. Really? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying! <laughs> like, like, I'm like it, I know. this should have been awkwardness from OP to him. Like, when you go, 
really? <laughs> like, oh. And then, that's, then right? it's, it's the onus on me to go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear, I had nothing. How the I fuck is nothing. it just that simple? I had nothing. I had nothing. Pull like, your fucking pants up, and then I was nothing. <laughs> like, that really I'm, was enough. Yeah, yeah, I was, was mortified and humiliated that, I, that he had to say that to me. <laughs> And then I realized, fuck, he's right. Are you ever wearing are... those sweats back uh, to work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think yeah. I'm the only guy that wears sweatpants around here. And we were discussing... But it's because it's way more comfortable to come in this We way. were discussing what we were going to wear to the Paul McCartney show. Oh, is that what that was at about? At the time. So it kind of made everyone conscious of what we were wearing at the time. Because Jimmy and I you know? decided to go all... Because me and Jimmy were talking <laughs> like we wanted to wear suits. suits. I didn't go suits. So I was like, I'm going to wear a suit. You, you know? wore a suit, too. Yeah, but Jim and Jimmy, we were talking about wearing open collar, and then I decided, like... After I got all that on, it's like, all I got to do is put a tie on. I might as well do that. So I did that, and then we were talking about, Obi, Obi was like, you know, I'm not wearing a fucking suit. No, I have and one then, suit that I, I wear at weddings. And then I and like I said the other day, they're on to so me, and he, I got to buy so another suit. So that's when now. Steve gave Opie, like, the up and down, because right. we were talking about clothing. He, okay. And then he gave Opie the up and down and went like, he, pull up you, your pants. Maybe Steve's he, half a fag. No. Holy shit. <laughs> he fucking, he was disgusted with Opie's lack of caring about the, uh, about dress. Oh, you think oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. was it? Yeah, yeah. He was already, uh, he just got disgusted about, with your basic dress attitude. With the Paul McCartney show? Or? That you aren't going to uh, yeah. wear something I, nice to the show. Like Norton and well, him are talking about suits. Like, I'm not going to continue the bid. I looked nice for the show. I just didn't wear a suit. No, exactly. Uh, it had no, no, nothing no, to do with looking nice. No, no, not, it's, right. it's you, the conversation I'm just not prior. a suit guy. No, con the conversation, yeah, 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 I, I he's just disgusted. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to make it make sense for me. I've been toiling over this, Patrice, since it happened. I don't think I've ever been told that, <laughs> been except ever. for, like, my mother, but she's never even said that shit. Uh, when you're a little kid leaving for the school bus and your mother has to go, like, well, pull your pants up, and you're like, oh, well, maybe I, I'm, I forgot. I'm it. glad we're making light of this, because I've been fucking furious Have you ever been since? furious? Because yes. that's how my dumb <laughs> you know brain works. Did? That my brain is ridiculous. He should have fucking licked his thumb and cleaned some out of the corner. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You fucking come mess. Come here, come here. You're a mess. He's rubbing the side of his face. <laughs> you got something. Come here. You know what I'm really hold was on, hold a great on. response? Because it, go it, it goes back to me. Really? Really? Yeah, man. But yeah, like, yeah. Because it does put the onus on you. But see. To say really. Can we say, on, man, can we, can we say it again? Right. Another man. <laughs> probably <laughs> easily seven years younger than me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Had to tell me. To pull my pants up. Yeah. That is fucked up. Yeah. And he will pay for that. What was your instinct? It might take a year, but he'll pay he for that. He pulled his pants up. Like, my instinct would have been like, what the fuck do yeah. you give a fuck? Why don't you fuck off? Fuck was, out of here. Why are you paying attention would, to me like that? That would no, be the see, ordinary response to it. Just a, take no, a generic. No, I gave him the open, though. Like Ant said, they were way down for whatever reason. <laughs> they were way the yeah, fuck down. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to make an excuse for you. Yeah. The fact is, you and then I had the five one one underpants that we got from those guys. Things are great, but you wasn't. You where, wasn't. Where it wasn't malicious. Your pants weren't maliciously down. No, no, not really. They would. You would just live in your life at that moment. Yeah, they were. He had pants like Tom Hanks in Castaway. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, yeah. You don't throw your shit away. That was intrusive. <laughs> That's some intrusive <laughs> shit. It really is. But to say it with such disgust. You know what? My clothes yeah. are getting fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You gotta go shopping. Oh, he's He's gonna come it. in here with a fucking oh. mock neck, a mock turtleneck tomorrow. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. I, and pants I, that I, fit. I, I was ready for new clothes, and then I had a kid. <laughs> oh, so it all just. Not to make you go shoes, Why? Does he shit on your clothes? What do you do? Well, that, yeah, but... Why does a kid make you fucking not pull your pants up? Harder to get out there right now. You probably don't even want to go shopping. harder to get out there. Fair enough. I mean, I should still get my ass to a fucking clothing store. I get it. I definitely should, I mean, there is Zappos. Made a little harder. While you're sitting there changing diapers, go to Zappos, motherfucking... Get yourself some fucking sweatpants that fit. By the way, today wearing sweatpants. Yeah, just to show his shitty rebellion, it's over, motherfucker. No, this is... You pulled your pants up. Don't come here. Don't come here showing us what to do. It's over. Motherfucker, I'm going to show some of my pubic hair now. You pull them up. Pull your fucking pants up, you mess. What do you he treated you like fucking Arlie Hermy, motherfucker. Oh, and uh, pull you are a disgusting fat body. <laughs> pull your goddamn pants up. Who the fucking pile? 
I know he realized as he was saying it, he couldn't believe he was saying it. And there was disgust. <laughs> I but bet you know he what? did believe it because he's, uh, he's a boss. He's audacious. When, when you wake up at 4.30. What have we got here? A fucking comedian. <laughs> <laughs> when you wake up at 4.30 in the morning, nothing feels better than putting on fucking sweatpants to go to work. Well, Steve, I've had these pants for a while, and they're a bit ragged. Well, no, no shit. shit. <laughs> yeah. That is, I, and you know, I, I just, it's just, that's so weird. <laughs> All right. That's <laughs> so it. weird. The people. It's been, believe me, it's been on my mind. Hold on, since hold on. I saw it. <laughs> Drew, Drew in Jersey. Drew, go ahead. Oh, what's up, man? I'll pull your pants up aside. What grown men actually wear sweatpants with their junk all flapping around? <laughs> My junk wasn't flapping around. Is you, are you pump tenting and shit? Are you wearing uh, proper uh, undergarments so you don't uh, you don't have your dick? No and how was he dressed? Typical corporate? Yeah, oh, yeah, like yeah. a corporate mm. douche. Sorry, I don't know. Steve. sorry, Steve Bladder, but Steve dresses like um. Like a corporate guy. No, not really. It's weird. Radio slash corporate guy. What, hip, hip has, um, corporate noir? No, what's his fake, name? Fake hip. Who, who, made, who made Nightmare Before Corporate Christmas? hip. Corporate hip. I know what corporate like, hip like is. Tim Burton. No Tim tie. Burton. <clears throat> he dresses like a Tim Burton character. He's always in black, and it's like... It's like a suit, but not quite... <clears throat> How's the hair? Is he groomed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's always very well groomed and I everything. I would have felt... I would... I'd have cursed him the fuck out, I think. Like, hey, man, can I'm I fucking... <laughs> I don't know. One more time. Can we do this one more time? Yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, who, do you, who do you want? I want to... Do you want to be the guy that needs his pants pulled up, or you want I me want, to be the guy? I, I want you to pull your pants up. All right. Because so I, cause I just... Okay. What's the co so? Hey man, are you excited about this Paul McCartney thing? Uh, we had a blast. There were a lot of celebrities there. Uh, what's it like? What's it like listening to them like without the other two? It didn't yeah. matter because Paul McCartney writing and uh, singing he the songs. Does sing he's the guy, so he's the. Oh, voice. slow down! You're fucking up the scenario. It was before the Paul McCartney show. <laughs> no, this is just normal. <laughs> oh, okay. this, we just make it up. So, <laughs> so it's like you know you're hearing his voice, and he's the guy that wrote the song. So the backup band, not taken away from the Beatles, obviously, but hearing him sing his songs and his voice, it doesn't matter. What was it's he? Like, how, do, how was he dressed? Yeah, he's dressed kind of casually. He looks good. He was, wasn't jumping around the stage. Is he, is he looking old? No, not as old as I thought in pictures. Jesus, man, put your <laughs> pants up. <laughs> <laughs> Should I? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was next fucking move. <laughs> no, there's no move. Yeah, yeah. And then wait, yeah. we're talking. Then you pull him up. I instantly grabbed for him to pull and him up. We continue. <laughs> yeah. So I was saying he sounded great. Mm -hmm. Looked good. Now my pants are up because you told me to. So now I'm subservient. And I'm just looking at you at like you're just a yeah. You're lesser now. Yeah, yeah. In some way, it makes you lesser. It didn't. Uh, now, yeah. Yeah. It didn't, hey, uh, do this with your eyebrows. Fucking yeah, yeah. dusty eyebrow. Let me, let me get the, off the eyebrow, and I got some smudge on my some schmutz on my cheek. <laughs> Aren't you raised right? Yeah, like that's happens? where it goes. It's then, like you, your you're jacket doesn't go with your shirt either. <laughs> Look into that. <laughs> Socks. Yeah, what are you wearing? Oh. Argyle socks? You can do the scenario another hundred times, and I know it just is not good for me. It's, it's not good for me. Hysterical. Where is it? It's just, I'm so sorry. That, I'm, I can't wrap my mind around that. There's no way to change gears from a conversation to someone telling an adult to pull their pants up. There's no way to... to you can't mentally handle that quickly enough. Especially, I think if, if Opie was malicious... Mm -hmm. And he go pull your pants up. Opie could have laughed. Oh, that like, would have oh, been oh, like, shit, I'm no, sorry, man. I'm just, I'm what? a mess. Pull it, but if you, if he, he's just generally. Patrice, in that split second, I thought of a million things. <laughs> and none of them made sense. I was fucking done. Uh, Checkmate. I had nothing. Check and mate. I had nothing uh, left. Oh, it, my brain was like. <laughs> Going through Opie, the roller decks. Of, of you, can't be a fool, you can't be a <laughs> fool and go, fuck you, I'm not pulling my pants up. Right. But you got you go, there's some kind of cost that he has to pay yeah. for saying pull your fucking oh, yeah. pants up. Oh yeah. At it's, that time oh, though. No. You can't get revenge later. Oh, you should my, you know what you should have done? That's my expertise. You know what you should have done? Gone to Steve and gone, Steve, 
The jerk store called, and they're all out of you. <laughs> jerk store! <laughs> <laughs> so glad Anthony keeps bringing this up. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Yeah, that is Christ. fucking shocking. <laughs> yeah. to me. I'm so sorry, man. I shouldn't uh, be such a baby about it, but no, it, it's I just that is shocking to me. There's man. something so analytical, <laughs> like to to sit there and analyze it. There's so much there in such a simple <laughs> one little moment. How you get up to the Foxwoods, man? Uh, they send a uh, car. They're gonna say, okay, they cool, send, man. But Good that's brand. not through here. That's through my own deal. Like, everything I'm getting is pretty much through my own deal. Is it I really? I told Sirius, like, don't worry. I got You're my set. shit. Take care so, of Keith, then, uh, make sure all phone calls are made. All inquiries are made. I don't even know what to... And, put uh, your pants up. Oh, shit. I'll see you try it again. <laughs> and instantly I look down like, I, there's nothing I could say to you. I'm gonna fucking say that to somebody that's in the... And see what they see. do. That's a good idea. What a great social experiment. See what they do. <clears throat> Are you going to thing Friday? No. Why not? No, no, no. I'm fucking going. Why am I going if you're not fucking going? <laughs> I, I, I got to buy some sweatpants. <laughs> Are you Pants fucking serious? Down. Are you going? Yeah, a lot of guys are going. I'm not. I'm, who's going? Who's, who's, who else is going? I think everyone but Obi is going. Yeah, I'm just passing on this. Is Bobby going? No. I heard uh, something, but I think he's working. Boss, anybody? Uh, Jimmy, um, Jimmy will be there. Patrice will be there. Ant's going to be there. It's going to be honestly, uh, Danny, honestly, it's going to be a great time. And I might, at the last minute, try Norton. to get up there. But uh, I was, I was just passing on this one. That's I might all. as well talk no about reason. the. Um, it's at Foxwoods uh, Resort Casino. It's the uh, Anthony Cumia Texas Hold'em Extravaganza. <coughs> this Friday, December seventeenth. Uh, play poker with us. Uh, a bunch of the staffers, Patrice, Jimmy. Now, what's the payoff? Is that the, you're in this tournament? Um, I don't know, pay money. off is you can make money. Some money and shit. And plus, it's just a good time. And then, believe me, the the shit that goes on. I don't know what's going on. It's this. Wednesday. I have no clue what's going on. It's. Just, I don't. There's, there's no make, organization. I will make sure. Uh, uh, excuse me. Make sure Patrice O'Neill knows everything that's going on, and right. he needs transportation. Don't worry about how people well, are dressed, I, and, I and make that. sure you take care oh, of Patrice O'Neill. Oh, good. That's nice. What? And, and what? I, like that, I just don't want to say to yeah, good. Yeah. Kenny got pissed when he heard some things. Oh shit. He got Watch little, He got fucking salty when he heard a couple of things. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> he, he he'll do that. Cause I for real I could I I mean no offense to the series I like coming up here with you guys but I'm like mm. I don't, I'm not an employee and this <laughs> and they're paying they're paying me snack money. Mm -hmm. Like this is for snacks to come, you know, to fucking come up there and it's like you know what it is. I'm fucking. You lying. hang out, it's you just even... fucking laugh your balls off at the uh, idiots. I saw some alligator <laughs> Chuck Taylors on this website my, in my size, motherfucker, <laughs> that I can't get. <laughs> I just can't even pay for my fucking alligator skin Chuck Taylors, oh, man. Holy and, shit! And Patrice, now you know why I'm not going. I see. <laughs> okay. See, that's Anthony's thing. He loves being at casinos. I mean, if I'm going to go to... It's just fun to do that. If they were sending me to a nuclear power plant... And by the I way, I will, in, in fairness to them, yes. I, I didn't ask. They, that's, they just would No, I think we kind of... So wanted, I would, I would kind of want to hang out and have... Yeah, I would have... Patrice is a lot of fun to sit there and laugh at the dealers at Blackjack and shit like that. I would have so. I I I fucking, you know, went. So I just want to make sure it's not like you didn't. But if you're going to... It's yeah, like, it's don't fucking be. start treating me like a fucking employee, no, motherfucker. No, 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 no. Believe me, no. You, uh, be treated, uh, first class. Fucking That's what you're getting. Invoices. Fuck that. Fucking invoice no, for what? <laughs> for this? I'm considering this like I'm going to the casino, and coincidentally enough, Sirius is holding a poker tournament that I will play in. Was this a? Um, that's pretty much that's exactly how I consider right. it. That's exactly right. Was this a Anthony <clears throat> serious uh, production? Uh, Did they come to you? You come to them? Well, they, in the know. past, we have uh, had uh, uh, we almost had a poker tournament. Uh, we were taken off the air for the um, uh, homeless guy that yeah. talked about the first lady and shit. But uh, uh, it sold out really quickly, and people said we ought to do another poker thing. Well, years later, they finally decided. They would. We have a good relationship with Foxwoods because of me and uh, Keith the cop. Um, we know a lot of the people up there. They take very good care of us. Those tribe take people very are cool, good care right? Of them. Yeah, it's fucking cool. They're all black too. Are you getting along with them? I never saw. I only see white people. They only they put send them up the white front. people to you. Yeah, they send the white people all around. When I did up front. fucking comics. It was all the Negroes. It was the it was the people that were an eighth. Oh, eighth. Oh, an eighth. <laughs> yeah. eighth. An eighth. I'm an Indian motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, let yeah. me tell you. It was fun. 
I'm from the so Sioux you meet Nation. some white Indians and shit. No, they're just white guys that work for the Indians. And oh, uh, so we got the special treatment. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to see the Negroes. <laughs> no, I don't. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. You know who I don't want to see? Asian dealers. That's who I don't want to see. With, with the personalities of fucking flypaper. The machines. <laughs> They're machines. Take my money. Third world abuse, motherfuckers. Take my money. Why would a casino hire them? Yeah, you want a dealer. You know why? You want a dealer with a personality. If, if, no, you don't. They win. <laughs> when I do gamble, I want a fucking dealer with a personality. If you open I like a that. store, I like open, that shit. Who are you gonna hire? Mm -hmm. If you have things that yes. there's only two people in the world that that care about their job more than their own life, and that's Asians and fucking Hindus <laughs> who'll die. If you own a cigarette store, a Hindu <laughs> will fucking die protecting your Defending cigarettes. That. Yeah, you're so right. So fuck what what I walk you, you know how, you know how robbed your store would be if I worked there. Two gangsters with you fucking guns and a Hindu will fucking jump over the counter with a and half of a, a mop stick. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> just poking and ah, and fucking dying. And some Asian lady, she's not gonna steal. Every thirty seconds, she does the I don't the I don't have nothing hand. Yeah, fucking yeah, they gotta thing. do that. I hate the, that move. Fucking I'm not stupid holding anything. with no attitude. Cause like, look, white people, black people, they the they do it in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I ain't got nothing. I know like, the technicality. Like we all know we have yeah, to like, do this. Yeah, at least a person, I don't care. Like yeah. the Asian, I don't yeah. have nothing here. I don't have this. Not awful. only that, but more importantly, for a casino. Uh, the Asian dealers very rarely carry on conversations, conversations with you. So more hands get played. More hands get played. More, more money, money the house the makes. Bam. Gotcha. And because they just want to get keep them it cards coming, out. Sing. Fuck you. So they just keep the dealing, cards coming. They might as well just get a robot to do it then. At that point, they well, they have one. You can't it's call called fucking <laughs> Cynthia Kim from <laughs> fucking Hartford, Connecticut, <laughs> and her husband who owns the fucking. She works there at night and go fucking runs the dry cleaners at the daytime and the nail shop and she comes and she doesn't give you any personality how do they ever get fucked how do these people why are the least personality people in the world the most why do they fuck the most that's right there are where is all this fucking unfun cum coming from and and non enjoyable eggs getting together to have billions of these fucking nonsensical unfun cheap human beings i love your who don't even Asians. fucking consider uh, stealing i, uh, I can't even go to because it's dishonorable really yeah. fucking selling you bad fish <laughs> fucking really dog eaters. Yankee cranky. <laughs> you ruined communicating with Asians for me. Uh, They're the I, worst. I can't even go to a Chinese the restaurant. The fucking without worst. Without thinking of Patrice and his take on this whole uh, thing. And now. it's like, really, you want to be upset, Asians? <laughs> Prove me differently. I have an Asian dry cleaner, Asian <laughs> uh, 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 laundry person, mm -hmm. Asian fish tank cleaner, the guy fit, and I've known all of them. Mm -hmm. All of them. The only one that's that's worse is this black security guard out here <laughs> who doesn't give you a frequent flyer. I come here probably <laughs> enough <laughs> for you to not treat me. Really? I got to sign the book, too? I, really? You're going to put the clip on my fucking Patrice O'Neal sticker? Yeah, like you got to clip on, it on man. so we know Treat me are. like I've been here before, man. I, come I on. agree. So yeah. the, the Asian dry cleaner, there's no frequent flyer. There's no thing, thing free shirt mm -hmm. after fucking... Okay, if the if the bill is a a dollar ninety nine, he goes, I only charge you a dollar ninety eight. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. The penny. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I I I I I I I use my own battery to put in your. I give you three hundred dollars a month to clean my fish tank, cocksucker. <clears throat> Can you please? So I asked him. Because he la and he and he's and he's passive aggressive. Is this a news story? Oh, he goes. <laughs> I go. Why the fuck? I go. I've, I've had fish for seven years. <clears throat> why when I say something about the fish that I think my fish, there's something wrong with that fish. You go. Ha, ha, ha. You laugh at me as if I'm a foolish Negro. Oh, holy shit, he does. You think that not having fish for seven years, uh, uh, uh. 365 days. Fuck the seven years, 365 days a year for seven years. Yeah. That I don't know a little bit about fucking my fish. <laughs>
this fish isn't growing. <laughs> so I go, why the fuck do you do that all the time? Why are you passive aggressive? <laughs> it's like, it's like I he, he he and he speaks to me like I'm stupid, right? I go, I go, this fish isn't growing. <laughs> well, um, I have to say, like, look, motherfucker. Why? Let me. But and then I go. By the way, why is it? That your people are so Holy. grossly unfair <laughs> and evil to us. Wow. And guess what I found out? What? We've huh. become closer now. Yeah. Blacks and Asians? That we are bad luck to them like cats. Well, it has it's something some to do with shit. Shit. <laughs> Yes. It has something to do with Fen Shui. You looked that up, Danny? No, a black guy like a couch right. face in the wrong way? This what the a, fuck are you talking dude, about? Dude, he's he a traditional Asian guy, and he said it's weird. we seem t we're like ghosts. There's no term for, like, nigga or black guy or whatever. They call us black ghosts. Oh. We're, we're not real to them. And Holy that's ancient shit. shit. That's what he told me. Wow. I, and then I, I warmed up. I go, are you serious? And I go, why are you so fucking cheap? <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, what is, where does that come from? What do you say to that? Well, he goes, he goes. Well, it, it, it's all ancient shit. Yeah. You know, when we came up and did the and I'm holding hat, and when you have money, you and it's like, ugh, it's like it's a, it's an ancient sh shit. The best part of the story, you God continue damn. to use him. Oh yeah, because yeah, he yeah. does a great job, right? He and that's, does. And that's, that's I had a Russian lady dry cleaner. Who was magnificent human being? I come there's baby shit on my fucking pants. I don't have a baby. Why is there baby shit on my pants? She's like, oh, tootly tootly toot tootly toot. If you good. see a Russian diner, like a, a a fucking waitress, some shitty Madge or Flo, you'll never get your food right. Oh, these eggs is runny, honey. <laughs> a Chinese person, eggs done perfectly. <laughs> and that's your dilemma. You're done, not gonna get this, this Asian dry cleaner is magnificent. You went right yeah. back to it, right? Magnificent dry cleaner. I searched for other dry cleaners. Not going to fucking happen. Yeah. I go to Spanish lady. Oh, hey, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Clothes are shitty. Can you crease my fucking <laughs> shirt? Uh, my sh the arms of my shirt. I like them to be creased up. Mm -hmm. That would be city boys. You go. You can't do that shit. The fucking dry clean. Do okay. Boom. It, it's four ninety two. <laughs> That's what it is. Four ninety two. And it's perfectly fucking done. And now he tries because my attitude is so poor. <laughs> and I spent so much money. Now he tries to be friendly, and it's painful. I come and he goes, "Hello, O'Neill. My name is Patrice. You fucking piece of shit. Hello, O'Neill. Have a good day." Because that's what he thinks. He thinks Americans sing when they fucking zippity doo da. Black ghosts. Just give me my fucking clothes, Hello, cocksucker. Just, 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 just be what I'm used to you being. What you fucking are? Oh fuck! Personalityless motherfucker. You treat me like shit. And once Holy again, shit. nothing for free. God ever. damn. Ever. ever. This cocksucker, I'm telling you, he's just like, <laughs> oh, I put my own battery in this machine yeah, that you purchased for me for a hundred and fifty dollars. So you should have done that. I'm like, do you think you're giving me a break? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I did not. It cost $4, and I did not charge you. And I think I told <laughs> you for this that I said, I just told my girl, go, go upstairs and get in that change. Give me $4 in, in quarters. And, yeah, in quarters. Yeah, yeah. He cupped that. his hand. <laughs> Made sure he got every He cupped his hand <laughs> and took that fucking change. I done slapped some change out of a motherfucker. <laughs> give change. <laughs> give some change to a black toll booth worker. Oh, yeah. They'll go, just go through for free. I don't be giving me no <laughs> motherfucking change I in my hand, bitch. After. When they're off, they got to count that shit. It's like, I don't fuck you. Old black lady called me a bitch. You don't be giving me no Motherfucking rolled up pennies, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese toll booth worker. One, two, three. There's only 97 pennies. It's a dollar. 
<laughs> you have to go around to the front and get a waiver <laughs> for three cents. <laughs> Fucking oh, cheap my. motherfucker. Holy shit. Sometimes I give, <laughs> if a motherfucker, right, oh, if the bill is, is, is $9.67, mm -hmm. right, or nine dollars and eighty two cents, and them motherfuckers, I give them a twenty, and they give me all this change. I put it, I give them the change. I goes, that's not for you. That's for the next person. That's short a nickel. Right, right. You understand? Yeah, Let yeah, Let them yeah. off a fucking nickel. <laughs> you cheap motherfucker. China has a better economy than us. <laughs> why the fuck will you be so cheap? That's why they got a better economy. Because it was not because that just started. Give right. you any. Regular visitor love. I I had the my the perfect restaurant in Jersey City. I won't go no more because these pieces of shit. I go. I'm the guy that comes in every other day. I know. I don't. Oh yeah, I know. O'Neal. <laughs> yes, but we cannot. Like, how can you tell me you cannot it's... extend something to me that makes me feel better than the average dick face that <laughs> comes to you once a week? It's bits of regular business. I come every other day, you it's... motherfucker. Yeah, that's like a fucking uh, mm -hmm. a, a good business move. Good they will. don't know. Good will Wait, for good customers. Wait, but the fucking fish guy, he don't like Chinese. Because they are like him. What is he? He's Chinese. <laughs> what? He don't like Chinese? He don't like Chinese people. Because they treat him they, like... they are not... They are socially inept and they're not... <laughs> you are! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's, everyone is saying that you sound like Marvin the Martian. <laughs> That's how this fucker talks. And who's cleaning your fish tank. <laughs> Good old Marvin. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating. That's... Oh. It's it's oh, shocking, God, man, oh, and I I don't want to dislike, but and, and you, when you try to be nice, it just ain't happening. Yeah. It just won't fuck. They don't know how to be nice. <laughs> they don't. They don't know how to go. Sorry. Th this is what they should say when they answer the phone. Hello, something something walk. I don't speak very good English, so please have patience with me, as opposed to me having patience with you, because you're speaking the language that we speak in this fucking country. Please don't be frustrated with me, because I don't speak English that well. Yeah, yeah. That'd be nice, but no. It's like, what? Yeah. Can I have some rice with no onions? What? <laughs> I'm busy! And they don't care about, they, they're cheap, but they don't care about losing you as a customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is shot. No, like, I go, this. I'm not coming back. So what? Good. But, but here's a dime. <gasps> <laughs> like, I love uh, on the phone trying to get him fucking gone. It's like, yeah, uh, order for delivery. Yeah, eight, 18 Maple Lane. Uh, 18 Maple Lane? <laughs> <laughs> no. Maple, like the tree. Maple Tree Lane? No, no, oh. it's it's one eight maple maple. Pull what? Pull you pull? You know what? You want the spring roll? Oh. Oh, it's so and frustrating. Think, and this is the thing that people they might be Asians, and then like some fucking the, the Asian fucking alderman down there might get mad, but prove it to be wrong <laughs> yes your people are egregiously <laughs> yes. horrible it it's <laughs> so prove difficult it, prove this to be wrong why do you think there's a fight in the house whenever you're ordering chinese food as to who is going to place the order uh, that phone gets passed around like, could you please do it i don't have the you fucking patience try, today right. it's like i don't have the page and it's like i i need an order for delivery uh do that oh. um could I have uh, two egg rolls? I need uh, beef and broccoli, uh, the chicken teriyaki. Uh, Don't forget, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 good. Uh, we can do, it. We do it right now. Small large, uh, small. Okay, uh, address, phone number. Don't forget, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, uh, 917. Yeah, 917. Did you get the 917? Yeah, 917. Yeah, 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 yeah. Frustrated and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're frustrated. And then every time they're frustrated with your perfect English. Yeah, why? Yeah, why are you frustrated? Every time I hang that phone up, I say I announce to everyone in the house, I go, we are never getting this. I go, we are never getting. There is going to be an Asian guy driving around. 
and, and I'm going to have to fuck. And I always tell him, I go, it's a house. It's got plenty of Christmas lights on it. There's an Escalade in the driveway. I'll fucking put both headlights on. Yeah, 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 I got, yeah, 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 I got Escalade. fucking runway lights on my roof that are spinning beacons. Whatever it yeah, takes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, shit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what It's I'm just talking. shocking, man. No, I don't want bacon. I said beacon. And this ain't this ain't no fucking <laughs> this ain't no bit. Like no, this ain't no, no this no. shit ain't no fucking oh stereotype. No. That's prove, how you like fucking you said, prove, prove me, me wrong. wrong. I prove me wrong. I got a story I was just reminded of. Um there was a wedding and uh my wife needed a dress, right? And it had to be taken in and all that shit. And uh, it was like a day, maybe two days before the wedding. And the dress comes back. And it's not right. It doesn't fit right. It looks horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rah, rah, rah. so my girl, like, is getting upset. Like, holy shit. Like, the wedding's tomorrow. You fucked up my dress. How we and, and she's getting upset, and all of a sudden the lady goes, Oh, Rinzi, you cry like baby. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about this until just now. Oh, Rinzi. <laughs> like, like, can't understand why she's upset. You cry like baby. Like, the wedding is oh. literally the next day or maybe two days, maybe. <laughs> and the dress is not even oh, close to fitting. Shit. Oh, Rinzi. Like, it got all fucked up because it, and it was her fault. Confucius saying. Right. Yeah. Oh, man, cry like and, and cry like baby and that's how she comfort she was trying to Holy comfort her by shit. saying that yeah, Renzi, that's a way to comfort. like baby that's a way to comfort it's like no bitch it's your fucking fault holy oh. shit I oh, forgot, I forgot what we did i think we oh. had to go to another place and uh, they they got it fixed in time but what this is fuck? absolutely and because i say this look i i do not def if, if people don't if people have dealt with enough anybody like i don't i don't defend uh people who deal with black people Right. And they deal with the worst black people. Right. And I go, look, how many times do you have to deal with with a particular group on a situ in a situation before you're allowed to go, I don't like them. <laughs> yeah. So if a person that's I don't I don't scream like, Oh, you're a racist so fast because Look, I tip a lot, but I know there's black people that don't understand tipping. And tipping so when they see me I can understand why they go, oh, oh fuck. fuck. <laughs> not, knowing, <laughs> not knowing that. I've been with Patrice. Patrice is a, is I don't a, fuck around with tipping. Patrice is a big fucking tipper. I don't fuck around with people's nah. tip. I know yeah. money makes motherfuckers jump. I'm telling you. You give a motherfucker <laughs> a $20 bill goes fucking eons man it is they true. remember they treat you nice these 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 uh these garage people you i give them a five every time i park it, 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 just a five <laughs> in your hand and i apologize if i give them four because that mother f a five is says something and a ten is like yeah motherfucker we're gonna make sure we put your shit where there's no rats mm -hmm. you know make sure nothing happens but 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 fucking when you dealing with a person and you go oh my god I'm living a stereotype. Yeah. I'm living a stereotype. I'm living these Asians, man. They're yeah. not nice. When the f how, how long before I have to go find the nice one? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you to. what happened. Something about tipping, though, uh, the other night at the uh, world-famous Apollo Theater. Uh, I oh, was shit. I was I saw your tweet so you're an asshole man you're just a pure asshole I don't understand my you. dude is I wonder how many felons sat in this oh seat you're just awful man with the history of the Apollo and by the way real quick I'm gonna say that you, you tweeted something about Don Meredith oh yeah yeah the, uh, and I the I Dandy fucking Don. laughed for four hours straight well, what, what was it I missed that one Dandy Don. I don't want to say it because it's just I don't know it's, yeah, it's, you know whatever it's, dude it's a it was a Don Meredith thing Don I, Meredith I was in pain it, it, go search back when that Jets game was going on mm. I, I was in the Apollo theater seeing uh, the wonderful Paul McCartney and there's a little bar in the back I like that getting a beer or two there was a lot of white people at the Apollo that night Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it was all white. The, the only black people Except like Chris, why did, Rock. Why did they do, Chris Rock was the only one, I think. Why did they do that? Was it a special engagement? Only oh, special yeah, people yeah, were there. Yeah, yeah. yeah invitation. Well, now there's a lot of people thing. upset that there were a, a lot of celebrities there and not enough subscribers. That's the yeah, new fucking on. thing. Who the fuck is Paul McCartney? People, that's the people out there bitching about. Mm. Yeah. There were a oh, lot God. of fucking celebrities, man. It was, oh, yeah. <laughs> like real celebrities, not not our fucking caliber. Real fucking guys. That was one of them. Yeah. Ooh. That made me uh, laugh. Uh, wait a minute. So so was that the Apollo? 
Yeah. Where were all the cars parked? And every Apollo, well, how many people were there? The whole, the whole thing was filled? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that every was fucking where, packed. Where was the parking? That's and where was the, the, I, up they, there? they had buses that were bringing the white people from the subway station two blocks to the Apollo oh, so they I, wouldn't oh have to walk God. the I, two blocks through the Serengeti. Fucking, do you understand why no one likes you people? <laughs> <laughs> they had it all figured out. After the show... I can't get protection. Have you ever watched the zebra fucking Christmas walking, from a nigga stealing my truck from in front of my house? Have, after the show, the zebra walk from the water hole back to the woods? Oh, after <laughs> the show, close. they had buses that uh, took people to the west side yeah, and yeah, the east side. That was it. Back downtown. Buses. They had it all figured out. Buses. I grabbed the no one uh, town car. Walked the, the streets of Harlem. Second, I walked out. A town car stopped. A town car guy stopped. I pointed at him. He goes, "Yep, yep." And we got in. And then we're thinking, like, how many events at the Apollo do you think black car town car drivers are actually stopping, going, "Hey, could I give you a?" They lift? are, but they're livery cabs with the town. They're, they're... But that's just it. That's why you find him slumped over the wheel. <laughs> Those poor motherfuckers. What the fuck? Are you serious? They did that for? They, yeah, yeah. They just, yeah, they did that. Wow. Listen, I, I'm being show. told we really got a break. Wait, I just want to go two yeah, seconds go, 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 though go. with this. Uh, uh, so I, I'm at the bar. I grab a couple of beers, and it's free, free bar. Okay. So I had a twenty in my hand because I was just going to pay for drinks. I didn't know it was free. So um, actually, I think it was Mel came by and said <laughs> it's free. Oh really? So I'm like, oh yeah, food too and okay. everything. Okay. I just drinks at the bar. Okay. So I'm like, fuck it. I got the twenty in my hand. I go, that's for you to the uh, bartender, the girl behind the bar. Now she's a Sort of rotund black woman big old, with big, big, old honey child. big fingernails, the big precious. painted up, precious. Yeah, yeah. So, um, no thank you. No thank you. But I'll tell you why after you're done. I just fucking, I didn't even care. I'm just like, I got my, my beer, I got my drink, I got, you know, I, 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 a couple other people's drinks, whatever. Uh, walked away. I come back before Paul McCartney's going to start. She's pouring a wine for somebody. So she gives the guy the wine. I come up. And I go, can I have another beer? She goes, um, you can't get any more now. We, we're closed for the, uh, until, you know, later or something. But I gave you that 20, baby. And, and all I'm thinking is, like, look, I'm probably the only motherfucker that tipped you. And I gave her a 20. Mm -hmm. And she can't crack a beer open and fill my fucking cup up. After, and right after she gave a guy a, a glass of wine. You are j Let me tell you. Black Please. people are very sensitive <laughs> about context. Context. Twenty dollars, sweetie. Um, you know, no disrespect. Here's a twenty, but twenty. Here, here, fat nigga, lean. Take this twenty, <laughs> and you will be giving me my beers <laughs> all day at my request. You fat fuck. She smelled it on you, so she said, "Take your twenty and shove it up your ass, cracker devil." <laughs> Exactly. I can't believe it. Oh, shit. Oh, Patrice can put shit in perspective. With that, we got we got to take a break. Patrice, you uh, promoting anything? Not a thing. I'm retired right Big now. Mama Prods on Twitter. That's what I promote for uh, Patrice. Start following his ass. What's up, Niggalines? We're back. Niggalines. Niggalines. I learned a new word. Uh, that's fine. That's well, a, that's, that's, that's Anthony's. That's a name. That's Anthony's uh, name. No, no, for I, I actually oh, learned a so new, funny. a new thing that happens in the black community. I what don't know that? if uh, you're gonna get mad or not. What? What Probably is well. itis about? It's nigga itis. What is that? It? Eating and falling directly to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> We've claimed that. As if, Christ, as if white man. people don't do it. But they yeah, just say but they we, just say itis. Yeah, because it's nigga. It's no nigga. You know, they, they cut the nigga out. It's the itis. It's the itis. They just say itis. They got the itis. Usually after eating, you got the itis. Get the itis. I'm getting the itis. Did not know that. Itis. White people with their lack of charm and wit. I'm getting sleepy after a meal. We're like fucking just say something. I believe the tryptophan has made me a bit drowsy. Say something sexy, you fucking corny, stiff white people. Yeah, but black people's impression of white people is lame too. We don't talk like that. Well, really, I, you don't uh, talk like that. Let me tell not you like, the way like I Ed talk, saying. Buster. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's Buster. A, but again, if you to mm. understand black people is to understand context. Exactly. It's all context. If you figure out context, you better be to deal with us. I understand now. If we know you don't talk like this, but that this is an attitude. It's, it's just yeah. It's I'm not better a literal, than you. Blah, 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 blah. It's, it's not it's, a literal no, speech it's, thing. It's, it's, it's an attitude. An attitude. It's like this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That whole. Fuck it. it's, it's an attitude. It's it's fucking it's, it's why black, white people fought hard to get the word nigger removed 
because they didn't know how to do it. They didn't want to learn a, the, the way to say it and do it. Yeah. And and have fun with it because it's a very fun word. It, and, you, and, 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 and you it should people be a do word. seem to have a lot of fun. Nigga, a gosh, a lot of fun with I it. I call everybody nigga. I call yeah. women nigga, man. And yeah. White people. I don't because I think that to be a great. I like it better than chief. It's just or like sports. It 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 really is just like a <laughs> hey you or hey, hey what's nigga, up hey what's up, nigga? pal. It's just a it's just a mm. made up word. It could be used to be made up for anything it needs to be. Yeah. But but that girl, that twenty dollars, mm -hmm. you gave it to her with the with with the um with pretense, and she smelled it on you. But and it was she the said, pretense that I would give any white person. Yeah. See, but so, that doesn't matter. But it should. Well, stop. See, that's stop always going to white people. If 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 it's acceptable for you pieces of shit, <laughs> especially coming from a guy that looked the way you looked at 22, how dare you? I don't think she's. You saw didn't that find picture. out tips until you fucking got your third paycheck from this radio company, <laughs> piece of shit. And you and you're worth and you worth millions. My mother And you, and you gave her a 20, and you wanted this girl to do fucking monkey flips for you. She should never have done Shine monkey flips. Shine your shoes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> but pouring me a beer. <laughs> after she poured one guy a uh, wine just because it's one second later than uh, she's supposed to the pour it off time. And she, she was, was being... showing she was showing her, that she can be Mm -hmm. White efficient and go by the rules. I'm telling you, well, you it's, know your, it's your fault. You created us. We didn't know all of this shit going coming from Africa. You know what happens when we're fucked up? We're copying you. When I go to fucking O'Malley's and I fucking wave down the bartender and he's like, "What should I have a foot? You want a fucking Guinness?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Thank you, sir." And I hand him a twenty. Anytime I go to the bar and just put one little finger up. Oh, because he doesn't o have. He doesn't. He's right back down my end of the bar. He doesn't have. A history of foulness the dealing with you. The potato famine cut into their but whole he history. Put friend. it this way: the potato famine. Well, if there was a bunch of people there just going, ah, here's a here's a buck potato, you piece of shit, <laughs> you, you, piece of you shit, dirty potato, potato guy. Motherfucker. Yeah, it's that twenty. She looks at it like you think you bought me for the rest of the night, Patrice. Fuck Patrice, you, white man. Hold, hold on, can I jump in yeah, for a yeah, second? I'm just saying that's did, what she thought. Why didn't, I why didn't uh, Nigaline go? I don't need your fucking twenty and give it back to Anthony. Then. Because why she has a job. Money? She's not fucking crazy. But she, she's right. just here's hold on. Is. But if she knew what that was all about, then her pride Why? should have said, "You know what? Fuck you and fuck your She has a job. No, no. What she did. Look at I. I take great stock mm -hmm. in understanding one white thing. Uh, yeah, and that is passive aggression. I. I. I study it. I watch for it. I live. Do you by think it. I was being passive aggressive doing no, what I did? No, I don't know what you did. I didn't see you. It was okay, just saying, okay. it was just feeling her, good. And it could have been her not recognize you either. Is a, a t no crackers come in Apollo? <laughs> you, you look like every other cop face motherfucker that was there too. So, so we don't even really need to get all anthropological all right, about all right. it. It's like you, you, you just somebody. She might not even recognize your twenty and recognize you. Is there, is there, or was there something I could have done? A different amount of money, a different approach. How would I have been able to approach you, her? Here's what have you, you, maybe you be the, beer. you be the charming guy you were mm -hmm. to make sure she knew that you were different from every other piece of shit that's cracker. just throwing money at and her you and go, expecting and, and you go sweetie how much mm. is it how, how's this work because i'm going to take care of you. you've been so wonderful and she would look you in the face and go that's my nigga right there and when you mm. come it's like it's okay to she fucking sip give you beer give you charm use your natural charm that you will use for, for one of these fucking white ladies here with plastic surgery just fucking <laughs> I just, just kiss her on the fucking cheek. Hey, precious. Hey, hey precious. Here's a, here's a coupon where you can go get your nails done. And I, I know this great weave place by my house. I can have my car pick you up. It's like, be special. Yeah. You treat her nice and she treats you I nice. I just threw money at you her. You threw money and, and expected things. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, we got Dr. Got X. Dr. X on the line from Mexico. Dr. X. I don't get it, Patrice. What's next? First, you guys take the Christ out of Christmas. Now you take the nigga out of nigga itis. What the fuck? And I tell the Christmas. He should be embarrassed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think he is. I think he hung up. I think he hung up very that's why, embarrassed. And, and that's why I, I like, you know, I, I like people to, to fucking do respect what you guys do. 
every day. Mm. It's like you have to be entertaining for fucking five hours, <laughs> four hours. It's, it's like this, this guy had and... one thing that his whole life, and he sounded like a dick. And he just sounded like an <laughs> asshole. But, it's, but it's, it's just like yeah, an asshole. But that's what I'm saying. You know that that tip thing. I understand that. Yeah, you. It's it's. But you don't have to always be coddling. But in that situation, the the Apollo Theater just and she probably, dude. Mm. It's just, and, and I'm not, I'm not saying it's right. But you know what? It's just, I an, it just is. I'm I, trying to explain. I actually black had no preconceived notions. I wasn't trying. He wasn't to being be, malicious. I right? wasn't being malicious. I wasn't uh, saying here, oh, this poor downtrodden sweetie. Let me give her a twenty so I could come back and get. But, but that's I guess what a lot of black I, people think. That's how I operate. In no matter what bar I'm at, I will tip the fuck out of the bartender the second I walk in. Just. Out of green. There's yeah, some black strippers you can offend. Fucking, I, really? <laughs> really? There's really? some black strippers you can offend. <laughs> Get the do, out do you, do you, have you ever offended a stripper? I've offended where you. This Not thing, by giving them money. How'd you offend her? You can offend us. Russians will take anything. <laughs> like, like if you. You know, maybe ball up your your five. Oh, I've seen and it. Flick it. Yes. And, and yes. <laughs> you know, making it money rain. Money delivery system. Making rain is you're dealing with probably thousands. So making it rain on a bitch is like, I'll, that dignity is, uh, <laughs> that's my dignity falling down on my head. Yeah, yeah. But if you got a buck and you're trying to roll it up into the shape of a cigar and stick it in an asshole, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, it's but... like, guy, you know. <laughs> it depends where you are, though, man. Yeah, piece, yeah, right. That's a, that's a big tip. True that, true that. At some I've, given, I've given a stripper, I've given a stripper a hundred just for making her way around the bar because she was fucking like amazing, beautiful. But Anthony, tell and the truth. You what? gave her that hundred, hoping with the idea there hope. was a, a there eyes. was a context behind that fucking. Oh, I wanted to come back over when she was yeah, done with her dance and have a little chit chat, yeah, yeah. and then she gives you the rub at the mm -hmm. bar, and you fucking can put your arm around her, and you buy her a drink, and then and then you know what? It's just like having a date. Only you fucking pick up and leave whenever the fuck but, you want. But an Irish bartender. See the thing: if you if you don't have any any background. Racial hangups. Mm. I think Italians' racial hangups were were gone in the in the in the in the in the, in the early hundreds. The cement laying. Period. Yes, once you the great empire state building building. Period. Once you started <laughs> to become white people, mm. it stopped. Yeah. And I think I just think you know that's the only thing black people can't become white people. I think if we could. Fucking, they're well, looking at be, Obama. He's just he's, become he's, Americans, though. You really we can. We are at this Americans. Point. I think at this point, though, you could become just we Americans. We fucking not, love this not country, African -Americans, though. African Americans, but just Americans. I really think at this point, you really? guys, you don't, are, you don't get, get to be level. Italian American. I don't know what no I could give. So a say shit. that speech to everybody. I could because everybody does that horse shit. Oh, I do, and I will. I will. I, I, I don't give a shit if the, uh, a TV show wants to portray Italians as fucking gangsters cement and layers whatever, whatever. or gangsters right. or fucking rapists. I could give a shit. It doesn't matter to me because I was born here. Generations of my family were born here, and I think uh, black people too. It's just it's gotten to the point. I where think the frustration. The frustration. I, I would say the frustration for us. Yeah, and I'm not speaking for it, but I know. I, I think you're the representative black, here. Black people feel like um, Sylvester Stallone felt at the end of First Blood. Okay. Okay. That speech mm. that he gave. It just we want to love this country. But white people make it difficult by how you treat us. We Still, get though. Yes, because you treat us like dogs. But I think you do. I you think treat us. Here's changed. how you treat us. You treat us like good boy. Like here's the one thing I'm gonna tell you: what white people do, More liberals do that, not fucking like. And I, and I mean, I've I've had extensive. I lived in Boston. I said this many times. Yeah. I've dealt with racism. The, the a non overt a subversive racism. Mm -hmm. White people in general would have less problem with us if we just if we sh are we 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 are less um, arrogant. They don't like arrogant niggas, man. So they here's what they want us to be: either appreciative, like thank you for master for feeding me, oh, and if you elevate yourself to what you seem to be famous or rich. You go, thank you, master, for letting me attain such wealth and greatness. But you there... want to be appreciated for your benevolence. But how to be treated? But then how? Because if we're not doing that, and we're, I'm not representing white people, okay. I'm not saying that. Uh, then what's the, 
option there. It's why then you like Michael do... Vick now. It's why you like <laughs> Mike Tyson now. It's it's why any former arrogant. It's why you like Muhammad Ali now. Any former arrogant nigga who is now contrite and in his place <laughs> oh, shit. is well loved. Tyson gets all kind of movies and shit now because he they forgave him. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather, as soon as something bad happens to Floyd Mayweather Jr., and he's going, <laughs> he's I'm good. sorry. Michael Vick, but see, I'm watching Michael Vick. <laughs> Are you keeping your eye on him? Yeah. <laughs> Michael Vick, I'm appreciative. Thank you, sir. Michael Vick, the new uh, white quarterback Michael Vick, <laughs> yeah. the new doing well Michael Vick, the new dunking after he scores Michael, he stopped all that shit. That celebratory nigga shit. Mm -hmm. And now he's going, uh -oh. man, fuck his sh He's getting his swagger back. He forgot that white people hated him. Cause, <laughs> so cause he's now they it, love him? He's getting the itch to go strangle some he's dogs. Getting, he's, <laughs> he's getting, getting the dogs. itch. He's feeling like, I can't do wrong again. Where my dogs at? Oh, it's Where time, my it's time to go to the dog. Oh, shit, time for me to drown a dog up in this motherfucker. You can see his time interviews. And shit. His interviews are changing oh, from when he fuck. when he's, thank you, so I'm so I'm happy so to be sorry, here, yes, yes. to like, I don't know. I might stay with the Eagles. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm looking at my I might go options. back to Atlanta. I don't like that cracker playing for Atlanta. I'm telling you, if you're like a white people love contrite, apologetic in their place, black people. And and why should we be in any place? That's what kills. It's just it is white arrogance is 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 the issue. And 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 that situation you did mm -hmm. with that girl, it, you you just think back. Think, step outside your body, mm -hmm. and you expected that girl to say how high when you say jump once you gave her that, that giant not out $20 of, not bill. Out of, not out of context of her job. I never expect anything more than her job. Uh, I do like when I, I tip a bartender, it does give them a little more incentive to get over to me a little faster because I don't like standing in a crowd waiting for a fucking drink. Let's put it this way. Hookers don't like to be said, all right, prostitute, start taking my dick down your throat, you dirty. F you see how porn stars act when they come in? They go, can you? Yeah, yeah, they want to yeah. be treated it's, like ladies. It's the most. Oh, it's, hey, you oh. fucking dirty stink hooker! Who <laughs> fucked you in your ass today? Like oh, they that's go, you piece of shit. It's the most frustrating thing that we deal with, mm. knowing what they do for a living. You're mm. absolutely right. And once again, him fucking summarizing it, like we were I, talking I, about in the bathroom. I was, I was just you know how to summarize. Patrice shit. is a student of society of right. all types: white, black. Asian, you have uh, uh, used your, your life and your wisdom to study all people. And see Which, how they behave. It, it, it and, is amazing. And if me. you get a hooker, it you should amazing. be able to say what you just said. You, if yes, you pay for pussy, when yes. she walks in the door, when I've ever <laughs> gotten a be, hooker, I've that be been part of very girlfriendy with her. <laughs> like, hey, you need something to drink? You need, I should be able to go, all right, stop peeling them down, <laughs> you filthy animal. I'm paying You're for your stinking... Hey, hey, let me see that piss hole right now, <laughs> fuck, dirty, stinking, <laughs> your mother must be disgusted with you, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm paying for pussy, you fucking whore. Yes. But you, you, you go, hey, how you doing? You want her to feel good, and you feel good, uh, and but you should be able to treat her like dog shit. Yeah, uh, but she's you, not going to like that. Yeah, but so it's, it's in the of, context in of... the job, but... It makes a good point. He did it in the context of the job. He, uh, that's what her he job. does. But and here's what she probably misrepresented because what, of yeah. where she comes but from. Here's what, yes, but that's but, what I'm saying. White people do not. Black people look at white people and and try to understand the situation. White people, because you you hover above us with a with this attitude of you we're better. You don't ever really try to understand. Oh, well, you know what it is? And it's hard for me to because when I walk into a bar and there's a, a girl behind the bar mm -hmm. and I do the same thing, drop her a 20, mm -hmm. uh, pay for the drink first and then just give her a 20 immediately. Uh, and she'll she'll look and be like, oh, thank you. Like, mm -hmm. really, she'll be, yeah. thank you so much. And $20 I'll be like, tip no is some problem. dope ass shit. Like, and, and that's just the beginning because as the night goes on, right. I don't think I've ever gotten a drink and not left the change on yep. the bar and shit. And that's after tipping. Yep. Like, I yeah. want I will take. Fucking care you of a bartender. You weren't wrong. You weren't wrong, but I'm telling you why. Why but she that happened. But she should understand the job she's in. 
Why doesn't she understand her job? Fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, why? <laughs> she she understands her that's job. The, but that's the type but of first shit. First of all. Hold on, hold on. When you're a bartender, that's the type of shit that does go on, and you should understand that. But you're going to have guys that are tipping a, a little more. She's a bartender at the Apollo Theater. First of all, <laughs> yeah, like she lives off can... of her salary. Because yeah. a place like Apollo probably pays like it's a job. Mm -hmm. And because you're not going to, you're not counting on tips. They probably had a sword fight to see who worked this <laughs> event. <laughs> sword but fight, it's not yeah. like she can change. They didn't give her any training at the, at the now, fucking you're thing. you're going to be tipped. Because she has this a, is the act of people giving you money for well, service. She has a black boss. Yeah. It's the, it's the thing. When I walk into a McDonald's, if I, I look around for a white boss, when I see... Uh, black girls at the at the thing, and black kids, and I see a white boss. I go, this is going to be a good McDonald's. Mm. If you see a black, all blacks, and then some Mexicans and some, it's it's chances is going to be a shitty <laughs> McDonald's experience. <laughs> How can you have a shitty McDonald's experience? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Uh, you can explain that. Huffing and puffing. Uh -huh. I don't have patience mm. with huffing anymore. Uh, hands on hips. If you're not ready to order. I don't give a fuck with. Sometimes you just want to, you looking, and if you're not ready to order, there's a, I, I have to grab you because you'll go and start talking to your friend <laughs> at, at the apple pies because you went for <laughs> the apple pie. this slow motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I hate yeah. slow motherfuckers. Uh, Damn, it's the same menu. Uh. It's like a, it really is like a Sinbad uh, bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, but I'm, I'm telling you, uh, that's why. Look, I, I, I'll say there are some things. Look, white people should get treated better in some situations. I mean, just cause they're white. But <laughs> black people, if I walk in a sneaker store, mm -hmm. they should treat me like royalty because you and are treat you like buying. shit. You're buying and you're buying top of the line this you know black girl's buying. getting ready to buy a pair of purple adidas because it matches the scarf she bought <laughs> white people take up your whole time finding out how the gel and the asics work Is this gonna be gonna... good on my treadmill and, yeah and then you don't buy you cheap and you suck but they still treat you with fucking respect but in a restaurant white people should get treated like <laughs> gods at the sneaker store they should roll out the red carpet for me, <laughs> nigga. Because I'm walking in that bitch going, give me f the f three new Jordans and uh, give me that T-shirt right there, nigga. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And that's how it happens all day. We don't go in sneaker stores and fuck around. White people do that. But we go in restaurants with $60 <laughs> and order $58 worth of shit. And it just is give, what it and is. And just give grief to the waiter. <laughs> just give grief for everything that comes by. Patrice, you're a sneaker guy where you wear once or twice the sneakers, right? Yeah. I'm, I remember I'm having that conversation guy, with you. Uh, that is just insane to me that you would wear sneakers God just once or damn, twice. Damn, man. Motherfucker should know my pedigree at, a fucking, at, the, at the shoes. And where do the sneakers <laughs> go after you wear them once or twice? They, they go, they don't go... They, they just be in my closet. And I go, wow, I should stop buying so many sneakers. But <laughs> what, are you, you know, being serious? I'm being dead how serious. Many, how many times do you really wear a pair of sneakers? Right now, the ones I have on, these have become like somehow my favorite sneakers. I don't know why. Okay. But I have a lot of, there's a pair, I'm telling you, there's a pair of alligator skin Chuck Taylors I got my eye on, man. When I buy them, <laughs> I'll probably wear them once, but I have them. <laughs> I just have them. I just don't fucker. get it. Just to have them. I have some alligator skin Chuck Taylors, bitch. I just, it just is what it is. You know? Real alligator. A dead animal. Gotta there's be real a alligator dead, sneaker. Exotic what do those creature. look like, Danny? Let me let me check those out. There's some alligator Allig skin Chuck Taylors. You know, only certain people can pull that off. Patrice is one of them. Mm -hmm. I and don't it, think it, I can pull up the alligator you know, sneaker. Like in, like in the jacket you got on today. I'm trying to keep way. my swagger, but, you and know, having a... having a, a black, um, almost leather jacket on today. Having a girlfriend makes you forget swagger sometimes, you know? Does it? So, Holy yeah, sometimes. Shit. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Holy boy. shit. It's those fucking, are fucking alli gator. Black alligator. Black alligator. And those, those look like fucking hornback. <laughs> those are some bad motherfuckers. <laughs> those are dinosaur sneakers. Those are bad mother, <laughs> and no one would notice. You would never notice. But if you walk by a bitch, you check you up, up and down. She she's goes, gonna like this nigga got on alligators. alligators. Mm -hmm. and, and and the new shit, don't wear diamonds in your watch. Like no. if a motherfucker know, that, like all the rich rich rappers now, they're going to like what's that? 
It's a just a normal watch, million dollars. <laughs> really? You know, don't wear don't wear no shiny shit. You know, it be, be you know, you go, wait a minute, is that a twelve carat diamond pinky nail? Like did this nigga just <laughs> like it's very it, that, like a those little more subdued. Those and... fucking sneakers are probably uh, they, they, they they look like somebody's trying to sell them because they call them custom and convert. Those look about a G, maybe a Howdy. Well, th these are custom. Uh, these are custom. Oh, they're this only guy, this guy will make them for you. Oh, oh custom. What? What's this? Custom alligator what's, what converse. This? What's going on here? Make them. Who make? You. He makes them for you. Well, can That's you, crazy. Can you give me that they're made to order. We go? Yeah, of course. We need it. It's only four hundred bucks. That's cheap for some fucking gator. She's <laughs> making a deal right now. Walking around with the gator. Right now. Hey, baby, how you doing? <laughs> Holy shit! She looked. Just... She looked down at your sneakers, man. She, <laughs> and she know her shit. Yeah. Same thing with women. You look down at that. She like, got, oh, she got some nice shoes. That bitch is nice, nigga. They pay less, but she's working them. <laughs> <laughs> Details, man. <laughs> so it's just, it's context. Uh, so it's, look, I'm in I'm in perfect well, agreement fine. that there's places where, but like again, not to go back to the Chinese people thing, but I'm saying, why would you treat black people poorly, and we are. The only the real core we're customers. the only customers you have yeah. at the bulletproof, <laughs> the bulletproof Chinese, Chinese restaurant, place. right, right. But here's the thing that we don't have a, a history of doing. We don't have a history of of truly saying fuck you. Only one time in history do we is is the busing thing is is Rosa Parks and then we said fuck it, bus boycott. After that, we don't have a history of going. You gonna treat us like this? Fuck you. And mm. it, and it means something. Like it really, we really go. Hey everybody, listen. I don't want to. I don't want to protest, but this Asian person, really, I, everybody, walk in and see how this person treats you. You should stop buying from here just because they treat you like shit. Well, you know why? Because technically, away. ever since the the Rosa Parks stuff and the and the civil rights of the '60s and early '70s, the laws themselves have been changed. Like you used to be allowed to say no blacks at this counter, right, motherfucker? No blacks at this counter. The laws. Technically and literally, were changed uh, so that it allows that. So there was but no here's the real. Heart, here's the, fight, but there's that. Here's the heart that you're dealing with, though. Mm -hmm. The heart from us. Yes, you can't say no blacks here. But say you own a, a restaurant, you can't say there's no blacks allowed. Mm -hmm. But really, in there, there's no blacks allowed. R right. In right, your right. heart. That's what I mean. And, now and, you're and, dealing and, with and, personal. And, now you with can't personal prove things. it. Now it's. It's a it's a race to prove racism. And and now white people what they do is they wait for someone to fuck up racially. <laughs> and then they they lambaste that person and make him the, the sacrificial one. lamb. He's the he's one. He's the guy. We now that like he's that gone. Anymore. Yeah. Racism's gone. This makes things better. That that's that's that yeah. you know, so that ultimately it's a it is a heart thing because we have to love this country to not have burned it down. But well, we should be insurgents. Seriously, we <laughs> should be motherfuckers that just are coming out every five minutes. You don't know if we're going to blow ourselves up. There's a portion. A there's a portion of black society that uh, is very similar to that. To that. Uh, not, who, the, not to the, the Israelites, nigga, no, on the no, corner not, of fucking. Not to the extremes of terrorism, but just to the extremes of really tying up the system. In ways financially, uh, prison systems, uh, uh, fucking come well, on, convenience, systems, convenience store robberies, man, can enough I say, already. Can, can I, I say, see one white guy under that fucking can mask? Can I say Bernie Madoff is the one guy who who has been, uh, you know, dealt with by yeah. this 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 white collar crime? Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you, man, when 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 it's prob it's mostly blacks and mostly Latinos selling little vials of crack. Mm -hmm. When when you can get twenty five years for little vials of crack, and no, and those are the people who are selling oh, it. I don't care about this shit. But I'm saying w it, there's ways to, and I'm not making excuses for motherfuckers who's out there doing crime. I'm talking violent crime. I'm talking violent crime. Did, what it do you just, think? There's no white people in jail. No, for I, I, ne crime? I never said that. There's some mean motherfuckers. I believe me. I watch Lock Up. These, it's the scariest see, place on earth. Do you see some of these fucking Aryan yeah, brotherhood, the Aryan brotherhood. motherfuckers? And don't forget that we are in a metropolitan. This is how we live. Oh, I understand. Is is exactly like fucking Braveheart. <laughs> there's the major, there's the major Mel Gibson place. Yeah. But then you gotta run through the rest of the country. You're running through the mountains 
to get the Skaguga clan to join you <laughs> in society. <laughs> These motherfuckers are... trees running. <laughs> 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 Rocky Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> and, and I've been to those places. And 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 and, and, and cosmopolitan white people. There's yeah. only about five cities in this country. <laughs> New York, Philadelphia, Boston, uh 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 uh, Washington D.C., which is not really a city. Say Atlanta. Chicago, mm. Atlanta, Detroit. No, not Detroit. San Francisco <laughs> and Vegas, mm. uh, 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 Nevada, and only because Vegas is in it. Now I'm gonna fin a couple of cities. Now there's gonna be. Well, what about? I've been there, man. Minnesota. <laughs> should should have to every a lot of these places should have to re like sign up to be <laughs> part of the country. what's wrong with us going down to 42 states <laughs> <laughs> why the uh, fuck do we get the to take south their... and north dakota <laughs> get to be anything do we get to take over their state though yeah, or does we it just, just stay there we as a black swallow hole? it up. We just, we just swallow, swallow it up, okay. it up to the next. Uh, Illinois can swallow up some and other towns and make a mega town. <laughs> yes. that, and they follow the lead hey. from New York and fucking Los Angeles and San Francisco. Hey. Until there's no more what? of that dead bullshit that, in the middle. All, those ridiculous human beings. <laughs> those drones the, that walk around the middle of the country. Off the top of your head, what state should get bigger and what state should get smaller? The uh, Bigger should New absent. York? L ready? Yeah. New England should be called Boston. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that takes Vermont, New, New Hampshire. New Hampshire, Maine, Rhode Island gets swallowed up by Boston. And, and, and not Massachusetts only this, gets swallowed up. Fuck the states. <laughs> right. This this should be New, New, Connecticut and Jersey should be called New York. <laughs> <laughs> Pittsburgh should be called Philadelphia. The entire Pennsylvania so, so should be called Philadelphiaville. You just took care of the Northeast really quickly. All right, God now work down damn. the coast. Uh, Holy shit! The rest of the Northeast, Delaware. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, the rest gone. of the East Coast, uh, Maryland, Baltimore, Baltimore should be called. I, Baltimore should be called, that whole area should be called Washington, D.C. town. You throw Virginia <laughs> right. in there? Uh, Florida what? should be called Miami. <laughs> yes. That is it. Spread Miami as far, make beaches, do whatever you need to do, but make that entire, uh, North Carolina can stay. There, there's it's something that yeah, should be like there. That. So but, there's no but South but Carolina. <laughs> so we get so South Carolina. No North Carolina. All right, that's an so easy one. So if you're one. driving cross country, yeah. you're constantly in some cool. You're hit. in a place. Things are going not, on. You're, Shit. you're not yeah. going to some weird. What the, about the weird middle of the country? That's how what how I'm do you saying. Handle that? But, but just, you have just, to. I think that makes Chicago. Mm -hmm. the, the West Coast? The entire Midwest. The entire Midwest is just Chicago. Okay. So Indiana, if you're, in, if you're in Tennessee, you're in Chicago. Yes. Texas stays Texas. Kansas. Chicago. Can Kansas is Chicago. <laughs> Any town you can't fly to in a big plane, can't get to Kansas City in a big plane. You're not a fucking town. You're not... You Chicago. Connecting flight means... Connecting flight. International... Who the fuck? Nebraska what? don't get to say they have an international airport, nigga. Because <laughs> <laughs> fucking Canadian planes land there. Suck a dick, man. What about like what about like Montana, Wyoming? My day, you know who gets them? Yeah. You share it between Oregon mm -hmm. and and Washington. You you Washington, because Seattle's real. Yeah. And Portland is real. Right. They swallow up that entire Wyoming, South Dakota, Idaho, all of that nonsense. All that shit. They get swallowed the fuck up. And Den okay, Denver. Denver Denver stays. Denver's a major and town. Denver sucks up the four corners, all that now shit. Now, what's next to Denver? Yeah, know. Denver's got fucking uh, uh, Utah. Uh, Colorado has Utah next to it. And then uh, I think a little piece of uh, Utah of Co Denver gets so Denver Utah becomes Denverville Salt Lake City even like that's gone. <sighs> it's now Denver. No.
<laughs> no. <laughs> Nebraska, too. Yeah, Nebraska. Come on, man. For, I'm, I'm dead ass. Up. Now, I know you're from there, but I don't defend Boston. I'm from Boston. I don't fucking get ultra defensive. It, 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 but there's, these places, Maine, Arizona's, Maine and New Hampshire. Arizona, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know it takes only <laughs> four hours to drive through every state in New England. <laughs> Eat ass. Why would Rhode Island waste our time being a state? <laughs> you could get through that in an hour. I could understand you two hundred and fifty years ago, maybe, yeah. but not now. You can cut through <laughs> Connecticut to get to New. You can completely avoid Rhode Island for your just, entire life. When people were riding horses, it made sense. Because, you right. know, it took a while. But with, now with cars and planes, why fucking small states? Fuck you. Fuck you and your, I, I, and your like local, what do they call that shit? Your, your, your local regional, uh, regional, regional yes. fucking regional nonsense. Thinking. So the Super Bowl mm. would just be just great. We're just, that's it. <laughs> We're giant. We need to stop this bullshit. Giant states. But, giant you know, cities. I got, I got one more states. You cities, yeah. You got to handle Texas. Texas, Texas is Texas oh, is what, stays. Because Dallas no, of course is a mother. Texas but, stays, but, no, no, but Texas. What does it grab? Dallas, what does it grab? What's it, what's, oh, my God. Because Houston, Oklahoma Dallas, is there. San Antonio. New Mexico. It's got to grab New Mexico. Fucking A. And That's Arizona. Texas, Texas Arizona gets becomes, New Mexico. Arizona becomes L.A. Arizona is now Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Um, Reno can be San Francisco. San Francisco. Uh, 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 Texas gets everything <laughs> that it connects to. Around it, right. Okay. To take a couple, to questions. take some pressure off of Chicago. Right, being Chicago, the whole and, Midwest. And Denver. <laughs> yeah, okay. Texas so can this, take a lot of things. And, and my this final question, how many states we go down to? I, uh, that's that how I don't a, have a... I it would be about... Five, six states. Good. <laughs> Good. That's about it. What about Hawaii and Alaska? Hawaii states. Just cities. Alaska can fucking go. Alaska. Alaska. Why? Canada or Russia. Get out of here. Kenny, we part. can sell them that. Oh, Kenny. I don't want to break up the funny, but there, there is a National Geographic like special about this, uh -huh. and, like how the states got developed and why the borders are like why they are. Really? Yeah, like... Like, I fell asleep watching it. That's how good it is. Of course you did. But it's like, like the Erie Canal. Your TV fell asleep watching you. You know, like big cities built up commerce, you know, because like in the old days, they could just like go down like rivers and stuff. And, well, and, that's and so why... are, you, are you supporting that we changed this, what we did back then? No, no. I'm just saying like people back then was fucked up. Right. That's why that fucking... it's based pretty much on geography yeah. and what people had to do to get shit. through rivers and over I, mountains and things like that. All right, uh, Danny kept track. So you got the Uni United States of Patrice. You got New York, Boston, Philadelphiaville, Washington, D.C. town, Miami, Chicago, Texas, Denverville, San Francisco, San Francisco. Uh, L.A. L.A. and you got uh, L.A. And can, can I see a map, please? Because I could do this one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to see a map. Because I'll tell you. All I'll right. tell you what doesn't. I've been in. It's. Makes a lot of sense. It, it's, it, it's just like subdivisions. It's, you know, uh, it's just yeah, subdivisions. Yeah. It's time to consolidate yeah, this country. Stop this shit. Yeah, yeah. Stop this fucking shit. And then you could get rid of so many politicians. Because oh. then it's just. You don't need a representative from every fucking little district and fucking. It'd be great. Now I see this. This is fantastic. Here's the state. Fuck Texas that. gets, oh, Lord have mercy. Texas gets Louisiana, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Kansas, and Colorado. Sucked in by fucking Texas. <laughs> One big Texas. California, which would be Los Angeles, gets Nevada, Arizona, and Utah. Colorado gets sucked in by Texas. Colorado don't get, because Denver. Whoa. Denver is a bad motherfucker, but you just, it's just not enough. Washington and Oregon split. My Wyoming, Idaho, North Dakota, South Dakota gets all sucked up, wow, and so we will call world. it all because we'll make Seattle be a a uh, no. We'll make Portland be a sub a, a subdivision yeah. of Washington of Portland. Portland. So so uh, Portland will be now Montana, North Dakota, <laughs> South Dakota, <laughs> Wyoming, and Idaho will now be called Portland. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> Now we have right, moving on. we have Chicago. Okay. Illinois will na Chicago will be now consist of Indiana, Ohio, Iowa, and Missouri. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What about Michigan we and Wisconsin? Michigan's in there. All of that is now okay. called Chicago. Chicago. All right. New York will be Pennsylvania. No. What happened? To Wait a minute. No, no. New York will be. 
shit. Jersey, New York no. will be New England and Connecticut. Holy shit. Oh, so, so and, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start from no, the, wait. You got this figured out. Go to the top. Go to Maine and work your way down now. You got the Boston thing figured because out. New York is so important. Yes, it, it why should, doesn't it New should York be as swallow? Up? It should be as as big as swallowing up. Hold on, I got it. Texas. Texas. I got it too. New I got York it. should eat Ohio and Michigan and uh, Rhode Island and Connecticut and right. Jersey and and Maine. You give Boston. us Rhode Island and let's take New Brunswick, Nova Scotia. Uh, as as New England and right. Boston. Yeah, you just we're take taking, that shit over. We're taking fucking parts of Canada. Yeah, you could take that shit over for Boston. No borders. I I think this may this may and only because it's supposed to be a cosmopolitan city, but this <laughs> may this may fuck up everything. Boston, I put it in the same thing as Denver. The entire Massachusetts is not important enough. Ah. I say New York eats it all. Eats and all Boston Boston is a subdivision just like well, just like Seattle is a subdivision of of I know Portland is a subdivision of Seattle, but they have still I'm Portland, but that whole shit it belongs to Professor, Seattle really. So now New York Professor Patrice, what yes. happens to the Red Sox Yankees rivalry? They, they got to get together. Yeah. And yeah. and wait, how is that going to happen? We can have Wait a minute. We can have still have sports. I'm talking about Look it, there's gonna be some some shit going on, <laughs> and then we have to maybe wait a second, cause football, basketball, but all these things are old too. We should start to develop some new, more powerful sports. <laughs> more powerful. Some like, fucking sports, for example, that, that where these seven motherfuckers that play ass, or whatever. Yeah. It's some major shit going yeah, on. And time. it'll be, wait, we can, instead of 11 guys playing football, let's have 33 <laughs> on each side. Let's fucking. How big is the field? <laughs> Humongous, nigga. Imagine how big the one in Texas is going to be. <laughs> we can just turn it fucking, we can turn Iowa into a fucking, a stadium. <laughs> just for sports. Uh, All right, so New York takes everything above it and jury. Jersey. I think Philadelphia gets some things. Philadelphia gets West Virginia. Philadelphia can have Ohio, and Philadelphia can have. That's about it. Uh, it should get Jersey, I guess. I I'm guess Philadelphia close. And we'll Maybe go you split Jersey in half. And we make Miami will be mm. Miami will be Alabama. It Georgia. Will, it will be South Carolina. Mm. It will be uh, Tennessee, and North Carolina gets to survive. North Carolina will be part of D.C. So D.C. now will be made of Virginia, North Carolina, West Virginia, and Kentucky. <laughs> that will be called Charlotte. <laughs> or no, D.C. Town. That will be D.C. Town. DC town. Yeah. Yes. I, yes. I'm, I'm yes. in. I like this. Yes. I, li I like big change like that. <laughs> oh, my God. That's good. <laughs> Can you imagine this? I'm in. This actually happens. When do we vote on this and referendum? And we erase this shitty fucking, oh, these a, lines. All those imaginary lines have uh, to go. All stupid. of that shit. We make new imaginary lines. Because we can. <laughs> and, 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 and you know what? And we shut down all those shitty highways, those halfway. It's just mm -hmm. a big 95. Major. That shoots through a big ass, a big ass 580, a big ass one, and you just you fucking deal with that, and you make the fucking highways 50 lanes, <laughs> and and that's the infrastructure, just big. That's Everything's got to be big fifty and lane fucking highways. Fifty <laughs> lanes. That'd be really confusing. If you to get it over to the right. The United Areas of America. <laughs> United, <laughs> United Areas. And if Canada wants to get in it, we'll take you over and figure that shit out too. <laughs> Uh, I love it. For, you know, wow. for real, man. It's just nonsense, all these fucking... It is. These I've never heard it put quite this way, but yeah, that would be a major change to run on. <laughs> now, you're talking change. That's a fucking change to... <laughs> there you go. But Chicago... Why are we still being traditional? Yeah. Patrice, Chicago, very mad on the phones. And Why? He said... Uh, it's uh, Chicago no, land. Let's let's the whole thing is let's Chicago. Find out. You get Wisconsin? Let, yeah, you dummy. He, I don't know. He lives there. John in Chicago. Why are you mad? This makes perfect Look, sense. 
Well, we don't want any of those other fucking states. <laughs> you got to take them, dude. You got to take them. He em. doesn't want them. You think New York wants New Hampshire? No. But here's the thing. <laughs> Listen, Chicago guy. You, you are taxed with the responsibility of teaching North Dakota to be Chicago. To be better. And to be Chicago. Stop being North Dakota. Build some giant okay, buildings and... The only, people, the only one we want is Wisconsin, so we can enslave those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the problem. Right. What about it's going to yeah. be fucked up. What about the all kind of rapes and shit? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What about, the, what about the new slavery? If you're changing the whole fucking Subject, thing. Subjugation? Come yeah, on, what, that's just a people thing. I'm, we, not, I'm not trying to say you should go. What state do we get the new slaves from? He's just a hot tub. It's a hot tub. This is if you had to. Holy shit. We're I starting over and we're, and we're making these humongous states. <laughs> might need slaves to back. You might need slaves to build the 50 lane highways. Born to be in change. You can't bring back slavery. No, motherfucker. We finally got them. Who's going to build the 50 lane highways? What state we get the slaves from? Oh, wow. And we services. We sacrifice one state and take all our slaves from okay, there. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, right you do? had to have me think for a minute. Right, okay. Danny put some put state that in back Mexico. Up there? This is called a if you had to scenario. Okay, here's the situation. We need people Out of the new state of Seattle. Was it Portland or Seattle? Uh, Portland. Po out, of yeah. po out of the new state of Portlandville. Right. You're right. Who's the weakest state? Who would you say is the oh, weakest link shit. state? I'm, I'm saying right away Idaho. Bam, they the slaves. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we get all our slaves from Idaho. <laughs> Idaho to slaves. To build the 50 lane uh, highways. Super highways. In, in Texasville? Yeah. Yes. Wait, we could just get What's from the one weakest place? state? Nah, because not enough people in Idaho. Idaho got to do the shit okay. in Portland. All right. That's Portland in infrastructure. I got I to gotta say, mm, I'm nah, saying the, the South's pretty fucking uh, uppity. So I'm going to say New Mexico. Will be I'm going the Texasville. Other way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Texasville will get New Mexico because that belongs to Texas. Right, right. So they'll get their slaves from so New Mexico. So I would Mexico. say New Hampshire and Maine will be the slaves from uh, New Yorkville. Yeah. And Boston, just to get a perk, since we we did dismiss them. Yeah. They will be the um, overseers. <laughs> <laughs> so Phillyville, Phillyville, Phillyville will let um. <laughs> It will be, uh, we will go, uh, Jesus, it's going to be a lot of man motherfuckers, man. <laughs> yeah, I see where you're going I here. Would, I would say, I would probably say Ohio. I, I was thinking Will the same be thing. the slaves. Yeah. And um, they will fix Phillyville. Sorry, Cleveland. Ugh. That's a, big ah. market. That's a big market for ah, you. Well. If LeBron was still there, we, <laughs> we might go West Virginia. <laughs> Ah, shit. <laughs> what about LeBron going back to Cleveland, by the way? What do you mean? You the, saw the game, right? No, oh, that that was... That, it was sad, wasn't it? Was like, <laughs> it was sad for those people. They realized something really... I think they realized, they realized There's two things they realized. Yeah. He's he's really good, and he should have left. Because that team now looks... I think, it, the, I it, think Cleveland's 7-17 seven and 17 this year. It's just sad. And Miami has the ex pretty much the exact opposite record. And they're getting... They're 18 and And they're getting like better. That. They're just amazing. They're now. figuring it out, yeah, right? They're figuring it out. And LeBron was shit talking the whole fucking time. You see him going up to the bench and whispering Because those were his, his kids, shit. man. They, they knew. They knew. And Cleveland, I, I bet you Cleveland is less mad now after they see that he should have left. Because what chance does he got with that team? That means the way they got beat means that LeBron couldn't even have really sat on the bench. They they just have nothing, man. And it's I mean it's sad. Mm. He, I mean it's sad, you know. Not to take away from your giant, humongous state. Well, I, no, it's I, fine. It's, it's fine. I can't wait till this actually gets picked up yeah. and, um, and <laughs> comes to fruition. Someone says, "Someone's saying you're brilliant because you could drive through the all of New Hampshire and uh, uh, New England, excuse me, in eight hours, and and it takes you 14 to go across Texas." Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so your it, logic is right there. It's it like, like, like I might be there's off no of reason, four, but it's so short to... There's no reason why they didn't make that all one state back. It just it, it don't makes no back, sense. Back in the day, back in the day. It makes no sense to have a South and a North Dakota. It's it's it's, it's archaic. It's it's what they call draconian yes. logic. Draconian. It's, don't, it's senseless shit. Why? It's like shit that's based North on stuff that North and South Dakota? Forever ago. Hmm. North and South Carolina for what? Nonsense. Confusing. 
It's like street signs that are like South, At least change South it Elm to Dakota. and North Elm. Just say Dakota. Dakota. Just call it Dakota. They make knocked it one down thing. that fucking stupid wall in Germany. Jesus. <laughs> At least start easy. And just go Dakota. Yeah, Dakota. yeah. Carolina. Carolina. At least start there and mm -hmm. see how people like it. Virginia. You know. Go <laughs> slow with this thing. I yeah, like it. Go slow. I know there's a lot of angry motherfuckers because they just, they just, they just they take their state yeah, pride. Yeah, they just take yeah. that shit. And, and, Sorry. <laughs> and Vermont and New Hampshire it looks exactly the same. One's upside down. Oh. That's it. So turn that into one. That's, <laughs> that's an easy change right away. It's a nice square. Yeah, make it into a nice, nice square. square. And Massachusetts really is a mess, other than other than Boston. Boston. I'm gonna tell you how. Worcester? I'll tell you how bad <laughs> Massachusetts is. You meet somebody from Massachusetts, they go, "Hey, I'm from Boston. Right? What, where? Where? Springfield." That's two and a half hours away. <laughs> we from Peabody. That's not Boston, you're not motherfucker. From Boston. You're, you're from <laughs> the surrounding area. God, that's funny, man. <laughs> so true. Stop oh, it. Oh, shit. That is so true. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, fucking. <laughs> Look, you can feel. You know what? You can really feel you know, the anger. Because I've been to those places. But you know who's only angry about this? Who? The, 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 the people fucking, that are getting sucked the, up. Yeah, the fucking. And do you remember? Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we first started at WNEW and, and the the old jocks hated us there? Of course. And we're broadcasting like you know from New York City, and their argument with us was, "You're not from New York. You guys are Long <clears> Island <throat> guys." So it happened to us. Long Island's right there. Yep. But, it but to them, they're so, like, you're not. We don't live in Manhattan. Yeah, you're not. You guys are foreigners. You do now. To this radio station. Well, I've been for I'm a while. I'm still Long Island. I'm not allowed to leave. I'm the king of Long Island trash now. <laughs> I can't leave. It's my kingdom. <laughs> but now it'll be all, all of that fucking borough shit. It's yeah, just yeah. Is New Yorkville, man. New Yorkville. New Yorkville. I like it. Does everything have to end in Ville? No. A town. All right, good. You can you can vote on a name. I mean, I'm just I'm just I mean I can't think of everything to say. Yeah, he's just laying down the borders. Hey, yeah, Eric is saying in Miami, Texarkana. So they sort of they they're open to the idea. They're just not all in yet. Call it York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in. I like it. All right, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Uh, uh, shit. Patrice, you fucking rule. I uh, love it. Your logic is just beyond amazing. This is like fucking. Uh, PBS when Patrice is in. <laughs> it's just educational broadcasting. And I get all and Lily, I get all the grief. Yes. Fat yes. fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> and you guys go we safe got, and come to work. Hey, great show today. Great show. Patrice is like, you motherfucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I said just shitty Idaho is mad? Who's going to be mad? Stop. I forced right. you to pick the state for the slave. You're right. <laughs> just grow your potatoes and yeah, shut your face. Potatoes. <laughs> Get it. Uh, Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Yes. That's the big plug today. Absolutely. And, oh, I got a, my special come out February 19th. I'm excited for Ooh. it, man. We talked yeah, about it. I was, gonna air that. I, I was there, cool. and Patrice fucking nailed it. Are you going through the editing process? Yeah, man. It's, it's hard. They're not too. fucking with you, are they? <clears throat> no. They, they, pretty good? They, 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 they're pretty fair. Yeah. All right, good, good, yeah. good, good, good. I mean, there's things I got to get rid of, and, and the DVD will have everything. All the it, extra so. shit. That's, that's nice. exciting. So I'm hoping it, it upgrades me to special guest. I've seen Patrice a <laughs> lot, and he fucking hit it out of the park that night, man. It's going to be a great special. Sometime in February, we'll look for that. Good. All right, guys. Cool. I will see uh, Anthony on Friday. Yes. I hope somebody gives me info. Uh, make sure you get the <laughs> info, Patrice. And, I will uh, personally make sure I'll see you next that. time. Uh, yeah, hopefully soon. You know. Yeah. Oh, we're going away soon for uh, vacation. Again. Not Very vacation, but holidays. All right, guys. I damn love having Patrice in. I think we have a few more shows left in this year, right? Fucking great. Yeah. Yeah. Leave, it on, yeah, leave it on a high note. Get look that at, hat look on. Look at that hat, bro. Fucking... No one's going to tell you to pull up your pants he today. He's a dapper-looking motherfucker. I, I would leave mine down. <laughs> Look at his ass. His ass is hacking. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that motherfucker yeah. tell me. Yeah, see if he tells you to pull, pull your, your pants, pants up. up <laughs> <laughs> he ain't telling you nothing. Thanks a lot, Patrice. <laughs> that <laughs> is one funny motherfucker, man. He, he's he's literally Holy the, shit. Literally the funniest fucking guy in life. That is great. Guy should be way bigger oh than he is. Oh, my God.